Live trans and prosper. Hi, I'm Professor Brian Dave Phillips. Welcome to Ghostbusters Really Really International. And today's Game Master is Kevin Dilmore. As always, he's going to be bringing us an exciting 27th episode. So take it away, Kevin. Hi. Uh, uh, welcome. I just was startled by the uh, rude hand gesture I was just given. I was, I was counting down. <laughs> I was literally just so, uh, Welcome to uh, Ghostbusters Truly International, um, where our intrepid um, uh, wranglers of the spiritual world are moving through the town of Nardwar to wipe out the last, the vestiges of the believers of the void. Uh, and, and they have uh, made their way through a number of, uh, of, of different uh, places of, uh, of the dead and the spiritual, uh, uh, those at spiritual unrest. And we will proceed. Um, gentlemen and lady. Um, that's no lady, that's my wife. <laughs> I was waiting, waiting for that one. Um, so you you see the uh, the map? I'm hearing a lot. I love it, voice. <laughs> see. I can't do um, that voice. I don't know. Him. And you can you can <laughs> see basically of the uh, of the six hexes of the areas of uh, of uh, Nardwar that you have cleared. Um, all roads lead back to the hex with the three in it, and a single road that leads to the southwest. I would suggest that, we follow that road. That that sounds like a great idea. Let's we'll take um, the road. The road. The, the we're road, in three, the we're about to go path. to, what, six? Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know what, what number, number that is. is. Um, I don't think there's a number on it. Um, yeah, but you, uh, but you, uh, you, it, you can see you can see that there are a number, I mean, as, as you proceed southwest, there is a fork in the road. Uh, I'm going to suggest that you uh, take the left fork because I have not prepared uh, you to take the right fork. <laughs> um, and, so, uh, um, and, then, uh, and then we'll see that the road um, uh, goes uh, uh, continues southwest as well. So uh, the next time uh, we, uh, we go, you can decide if you want to go way southwest or if you want to uh, go back to the fork and go the other direction. So, um, and what you see before you, um, if I uh, can uh, change. Maps. That is the best map change I've ever had. Well, this is a fairly small map. Um, and I believe that uh, the team is assembled. Is there anybody I forgot? I think I think everyone's there. Kevin's yeah. Um and there's one extra. Yes, there's one extra because there are Tim two extra. went when I started, I thought that Tim was going to join us. Yeah, so Deadly and Tef are not here. So Yes. So uh, what you see is a tall, square-sided, square-sided, flat-sided, it's four sides, I don't know how you want to describe it, tower that is dominating the region. Uh, it appears to be several stories tall. Its upper windows are illuminating the night sky with an otherworldly blue light. And a large metal rod has been erected on the roof that reaches high into the sky. Uh, you can, from your vantage point, see a... Um, uh, the the first level the i mean the you know the first floor of this tower 
is uh, setting slightly higher than ground level. So it can be reached by a set of stone steps that lead to a front door and a narrow walled path that runs alongside the east wall. Note that I oriented the map correctly. <laughs> <laughs> that is a first. Uh, once I mean, I did I did a number of the maps and realized I had them oriented wrong, and this time I got it right. Um, the, uh, uh, and there are uh, uh, just to the east of the of the steps to the front door, you see um, two large what would look like uh, um, storm shelter type doors. Okay, so they're kind of angled, but they are chained shut. They are metal doors that are chained shut. Because that's what you do. It is. I mean, it's not sinister at all. That's that's what no. you do. There's no, there's no. Can I mean, you undo that lock? Could you would... undo the lock? What kind of lock is that? It's it's just a latch. Um, I mean, I'm I'm not sure what you mean. What kind of lock it's, is it? Well, it is it is chained shut. So what is it's a it's it's a padlock that oh. uh, um are are you going to inspect it? Uh, somebody said we should just open it. Okay, we'll well, give it a try. Uh, open the door to the basement. So okay, you can't you can't because it changed job. I'm going to use my brains and pick the lock. Ooh. Okay, it's just it's a padlock. Looks relatively new, actually. That means uh, it's and very the chain, easy the chain to pack. Itself is a little rusty. Hold it. Yeah. Is it is it a padlock that has a key or a combination? It is a padlock with a key. I would have said a combination lock if it was a combination lock. Okay, then I will pick it with my awesome brains. My brains okay. are so big. Well, I obviously have picked it. Like no. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, you tried picking it, and uh, your uh, your pick set has broken off into the lock. Well, luckily, I didn't have a pick set. I was using a bobby pin. Oh well, that broke off into the lock. Too. Which I carry around for some reason. Well, for expertly picking locks, clearly. Okay, so Luthien can do it. Somebody with brains better than me. I well, that's everybody. Brain. What's your brain? Actually, my brains are four. They're pretty good. Yeah, I'm mine's five. Oh. Yeah. Only one better than mine. Yeah. So I try, okay? Okay. You have to take the, the bobby pin out. Look, that was saying. Uh, the first one is five, so I'm okay. I didn't break the bobby pin inside the lock. I did. Uh, did you take it out? That's what she's rolling to do now. Uh, I got a six. You did. So I have an another range roll. Range. <laughs> okay, 24. Okay. So I open you, it. No, you successfully get the bobby pin out of the lock. <laughs> With 24, really? Yes. Now you pick yeah, it. it was, you did a what really good job. You do that. You did a really great job getting that. I mean, it practically fell out. <laughs> okay, so I just lost that. So, and then, um, a a man opens the front door. <laughs> And and yells at you. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, we thought there's oh. nobody inside. Ooh. <laughs> Darius is gonna saunter over to him. Okay. Okay. Over. Go ahead. And talk to him and say, "Hey, how you doing, dude? You know, how I you doing? I got head down." I thought I saw my cat head down there. Somehow it got in, and so I'm trying to open the door to get my cat out. You think you could come over and help us out? 
dude. Well, I mean, I I would prefer to uh, leave the door to the basement locked, but if you'd like to come in and uh, and 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 access the basement, you know, by the stairs or something, I I I certainly don't want to keep you from <laughs> finding your cat. All right, I check carefully. I look him over to see if he has pink sandals on and I say that's a mighty great offer we'd be happy to walk in there with you but what, 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 what if he had pink sandals if, if he'd had pink sandals on he wouldn't have gone in that's inside joke Brian and Lorraine know exactly what I'm talking about well, Michael that's... has no gay dar none at oh. all oh oh <laughs> The, the, that is the indication. Michael does not know when gay men are flirting with him. I see. Well, I I have to admit that I'm greatly intrigued by these accoutrements <laughs> that, that you're carrying. Um, uh, please uh, can uh, uh, introduce yourselves. Tell me what 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 brings you here with with this marvelous equipment. I kind of look at him with my Darius Park look and say, I'm Park, Darius Park, Oxford, PhD. I'm an archeology span major. And we are here to investigate weird, wonderful, wacky things from around the world. Things, ideas, and, and creatures lost to science. Let's go inside and sit down and have some tea together. And, we can tell you all about our discoveries. I, I'm, I'm very, very intrigued. My, uh, my name is, uh, my name is, is Daniel Troy, Dr. Daniel Troy. I'm very pleased to meet you. Very pleased to meet you too. And I reach out my hand to shake it. Oh, and, to shake and, it. And I, I offer my hand to him. But shake, shake your hand politely. You can see that he and I, is I kind of like try to gray. judge him by his grip. Does he have like a nice firm grip or <laughs> I, wimpy? I'd say it's a it's a pretty firm grip. Um, you know, he's he's a smaller statured. Um, you know, uh, d definitely. Uh, well, I wouldn't say. I mean, he's he's a broad-shouldered guy um but uh but you know i'd say of an of an average height he has a uh, gray lab coat on um he's uh, you know he looks a little bulked up um and uh, uh and you notice that he uh um you know he shook hands with you with his left hand Ooh, um his he uh, his, right, his right hand appears to uh, be a uh, um uh, a uh, prosthetic hand. Oh, okay. And so, let us head inside if, um, in. if you're into patient in. and I'll introduce all my compatriots here. You have compatriots. So, so yeah, he, uh, um, so he invites you in um, and says, uh, you know, um, it, he's please. He's not wearing he like a pink belt or anything. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's so paranoid. No, he is wearing <laughs> nothing pink. He's wearing nothing. Uh, which, which, well, no, I, I described right. him as, as wearing a, uh, a gray lab coat. Um, he said, um, please, um, what, uh, um, I, you know, I wasn't prepared for guests. I, you know, I've, I've got a, a, a pitcher of, of tea um, that I could uh, uh, that I could get for you. Um, if uh, would you like to just uh, um, wait in uh, uh, in my uh, um, living room, my sitting room, uh, my my just my general room? I mean, it's 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 uh, you're you're welcome to step in here. Oh, we'd okay. be pleased to do that, but we're not putting you out or anything, are you? We I I am. It's you. I am always happy to entertain guests. And what was the name you, you could not be more polite. We so appreciate. If you could, uh, um, 
if if you could, um, excuse me, uh, I will uh, step in uh, here. Uh, it's it's no trouble at all to. Uh, I lend um, you a hand or something. Uh, I, no, I, I please. You're my guest. Um, you know, just uh, uh, I'll I will uh, join you shortly. There's uh, uh, six of you, and uh, I I can bring uh, tea and and water, and and I'll I'm I'll best. join you shortly. Pardon me, what, what was your name again? Dr. Daniel okay. Troit. Dr. Detroit? Detroit? Daniel Detroit, <laughs> yes. Dr. Detroit? <laughs> All right, I didn't that? pick that up, but okay. He looks a lot <laughs> like uh, Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. Wait, so, uh, uh, so you step in. Meeting. Um, Hang on. The... Uh, uh, why do I feel like I've been herded to my death? So yes. The uh, the front doors emerge into the hallway, which which splits the level in two. Um, you can see that there's a sideboard and a mirror at the end of the hallway, uh, and the uh, um, and the door that you went into, you find a table um, with uh, with a chair and a bookcase. There is a set of stairs um, that uh, you can see heading up to uh, a, uh, a, you know, a higher level and um, uh, that you can see the stairs kind of bank off um, to the right and that you can't see, you know, past the turn. I'm going to go to the sideboard and take a look at myself in the mirror and kind of do a Darius Park look and go yes okay if, if, if everything checks out well then i'm just going to return back into the living room i need i need you to uh roll your cool please please get a six or a one <laughs> i got 17 a 17 cool well you are startled by what you see but not uh, but but not panicked what you see is a clear reflection of yourself mhm mm oh that would be I, I look well enough um like you, perfectly coiffed a, a clear reflection of yourself as a decomposed corpse so normal improvement so normal so an improvement. Not normal. Definitely Did not you normal. You, <laughs> a, a glance in the mirror is uh, is shows you you know the the outside, the clothing you're wearing, everything as you know it to be. Except you appear to have been dead for decades. I'm flipping down my ecto goggles and. Turning on the the cud meter. The cud meter reveals that it does have some sort of like portal energy, but it's not quite what you're used to reading. It doesn't appear to be something that is a portal to a physical dimension. It does appear to be a distortion of time itself. Mm -hmm. Darius well, Mark here, reporting from inside the tower in the town of Nardwall. We've met Nardwall. Right. Fine, Nardwar. polite gentleman. But is Nardwar. there more here that is a mystery? As I look into the mirror, I see I'm not the handsome Darius Park that normally you would expect to see in a video like this, but my reflection is of a decomposed corpse. No ecto presence, but cud presence is here. What is the mystery? I will report back to my friends. <laughs> no one killed Mark Mars. What did the peak meter say? Uh, peak the, peak, the peak meter is is kind of like flapping up and down it's not it's not psychokinetic energy as you guys have experienced it before it really it, it 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 feels like 
like you're seeing into the future or a future or it's i mean are you up there investigating it trapper no okay I'm just checking where i'm at i mean i just have like my oh, um, i'm sorry my, I the peak the meter, meter for my there. my goggles i mean just, i can be if you want me to be well it's it's up to you the peak meter where you're standing is showing no significant readings all right i'm yeah, sorry so i thought you I didn't see any kind of echo presence just through my goggles, I don't detect anything. Correct. Yeah, so only the cut it's stuff. So I'm just going to go meter. back to the room and tell them what I saw there. Okay, I'm and I thought you did that. I thought, I thought Trapper was responding to that. Oh, I can. No, it's up. To, it's it's totally up to you. Yeah, yeah but, I'll go ahead and do that so you can finish what you were telling me. Yeah. I just was going to say that the uh, uh, the peak meter the proximity of a peak meter to that specific object yeah. it doesn't know what to do with the data um it's okay. it's it's a it is it a cut meter would pick up um uh like the a thinning of the veil between our world and and an and a you know what supernatural world all right this isn't that the cud meter knows that something is amiss. The peak meter doesn't know what to do with the data. Okay. So it's fourth dimensional. I think that you could um, you could conclude that yes. Hmm. That's it. Discussing our findings with my friends, we've determined that is this a sign of what our future holds for us? Stay tuned. We will tell you more with more investigation. Darius Park, out. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. <laughs> uh, anything interesting in the bookshelf? Um no in fact it is it's not even uh, uh scientific tomes it is uh um it it looks like a collection of readers digest condensed novels um <laughs> and, and just general reading material it, it 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 does not look it looks less than interesting side the meter uh no reading okay how much time has passed since that one guy had left? Um, I'd say four or five minutes. Should we go look for him, or should we go ahead and just go upstairs? <laughs> in somebody's house. He's invited yes, so. you in. Let's, uh, yeah, he has to show... stay back. <laughs> You're right. Let's look that, for him. This this worked out so well when you did that in a Dabber Gwyn's windmill. So you say we should go upstairs then? That's a totally different incarnation, dude. It might work out great this time. Yeah. It always does. We're still alive. <laughs> yeah. Just because you got the hots for the guys doesn't mean we forgot we have a missing. What is our yeah, mission? So true. Oh yeah, we want to. Yeah. You are you are clearing the the city of Nardwar yeah. from any supernatural anomalies and the remnants and vestiges of the cult of the void. Truth, brother Ray. Truth. I, I want to. I want to accidentally go up the stairs. Me too. Accidentally. I think I think Darius looked into the void. Yeah. He looked back. Upstairs. That's where so, I'm okay, ready. So you're gonna go all you're gonna go up the stairs and to the second floor, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Are there any other doors on the first do floor on the black side of the hall? Oh. Hang on. I was I was being uh, serenaded for a moment. Um what was what was the question? The, the blacked out space on the first floor do we see any doors leading into that area yeah the blacked out space um well i mean the fogged area 
I mean, do we see some door, so you, air, doors? Well, yeah, there's, there's the open door. There's the open door that uh, uh, Doctor Troit went through. Yeah. Okay, and that's. Are you wanting to go? Are you wanting to go in? I'm not going to go in. It's like you know, he said to wait here in the room, and I'm not I mean, going to impose on is, him. It is fogged, but it is it is lit. What you can see from there appears to you know just be a kitchen. I mean, it's uh, okay. um, you a know, really big kitchen. It's fairly. Um, do you want to step in? Step no, no, no don't impose on his politeness. There might be bread and cutlet, cold cut, and condiment. You can make does a anything. Stand. Does anything look like a bathroom door on the first floor? Uh, no. Okay, good. Did you? Are you needing to use a bathroom? No, it's just covered, so <laughs> I can explain to the guys. That oh we didn't see it, find a bathroom door on the first floor so they just couldn't hold it you know they were at some restaurant I think they had some bad salmon yeah they or did something and I <laughs> definitely didn't have that I would like to walk across into the kitchen okay who's who's walking across into the kitchen I'll Smooter is walk in front of in the kitchen anybody going with him. I'm just looking for gonna let him walk in there by himself. Yeah, That's I'm gonna watch him do it. Hey, Smooter, I'm having a really hard time with your microphone. Yeah, me too. Me too. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, but it's a little bit better, but not too much better. I I'm calling out to Dr. Troy. Oh, good. I'm calling out to where he is. Dr. Troy, where are you? Um, you get no reply. <laughs> He, he took off, man. And uh, besides the kitchen, that back door, there be a door to my right. There, That's a cabinet to your right. Um, hang on just a second. So, um, uh, yes, the kitchen area has cupboards, a sink, and the stove. And a cabinet with uh, looks like cans and spices and things that uh, um, are on the uh, on that south wall. I'll I'll check out this cabinet area to see if there's any hidden doors. Okay, I roll your brains. Well, my brain brains being, I believe, twenty seven or. You have 27 brains? Uh, no, no, it's just three. Okay. <laughs> but I get a six? Total. A six total? Total. Oh. total. Well, I mean, it, uh, you, as, as you're investigating the cabinet, um, you notice uh, some uh, cans of uh, of flavors of soup, and uh, and you know some ravioli, and, and you're just so caught up in the uh, um, culinary delights that Dr. Troit has in the cabinet, you kind of mm -hmm. let let yourself be distracted from your goal. <laughs> that sounds real. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, I have a goal. Well, yeah, you said you were going to check for secret doors, but instead you found the, you know, the, the minestrone in a can. I like minestrone. Minestrone. <laughs> I like minestrone. I, I look around, and do I see any sign that someone was preparing refreshments for us? Uh, no, you don't. And kind of like peeking into the cabinets, do I see any kind of refreshments that... I would be interested in having, having had served to us. Well, you do you do find that in uh, one of the cabinets, it's actually just an artificial face for a refrigerator, and the uh, and the refrigerator does have you know a pitcher of tea in it. He wasn't necessarily kidding. Interesting. Where did he go? Is there a door there to the south, like? Near where uh, Smooter is standing, like that—that that is a 
that is a cabinet that had you know lovely canned goods in it um and uh that's that's know, where he got distracted that's that is where he got distracted by the fancy labels oh i'm gonna of communicate he did. to uh, trapper and larry five minutes long here Dr. Troy is not in the kitchen. His whereabouts are unknown. Strangeness is happening. We do not know if he's an ally or an enemy. I want to take a guess as to whether Smooter has been mesmerized. Maybe he walked into a secret door. This one. Okay, hang on. I think Smooter was talking and I couldn't hear him. Does anyone else want minestrone? I think we can make minestrone. You, you know, there's, there's probably a, there's probably a pot because that and that stove is right there. I'm going to look for a pot and a can opener, and I'm going to grab a couple cans of minestrone. Uh, and but I'm you know what? Make... You don't even need a can opener because it's a pop top can. Yeah. And yet, I feel the need to get a can opener. <laughs> <laughs> you can look for one. I I'll look for a can opener. Can I just Larry and I Trapper think... have been very patient. Yeah, I turn on and... the stove. So, yeah, you can turn on the stove. I'm looking for a pot. Is there a pot under the stove? Above the stove? Um, In the cabinets? There. Um, hang on. There is a pot in the cabinet, and you're welcome to, to heat up the... Uh, I'll do the it. Pony ...if you like. I'll do it. I'll begin. So Larry, were you first? Yeah. Okay, so you guys have made it up to the second floor. Cool. Yeah, and I've told them that, that Detroit is missing, that he's left. Yes. And and what you see is as you come up there, there is there are two doors on your right, which would be the south wall. One right near the top of the stairs. And um, and then one farther down, and then the staircase turns, and that and and then uh, it uh, heads up to a third level. Trapper, you want to keep going up, or you want to check this place out? Uh, let's check it out. Which door you want? The one you're uh, by, or the one I'm by? Let's open. I will open the one that I'm by. Okay. okay. And you can see into from there. Oh, you're all the way in? I'm going in. Okay, that's cool. Um, cool. What you're seeing. I'm going to stand by the door, the open door, with my proton pack out. That's, that, that's probably not a bad idea. Um, you see a bedroom. Um, within it is a double bed two wardrobes, and a large oval rug. What did the peak meter say? Peak meter is picking up some um, odd readings. It definitely, there's definitely psychokinetic energy in the room. Mm. Interest is definitely peaked. Okay. Let me go to the center of the rug. You Oops. walked on the rug? Of course he yeah. did. He knows what mimics do. Of course he did. Um, and so when you walk onto the rug, this green goo-like substance, not unlike what you saw in in uh, other places in Nardwar, a, a a a misty cloud with a face has started to seep from the uh um the fibers of the rug and is it is starting to coalesce in front of you it's like a giant jello monster well it's it's more it's, it's like a mist and it's starting to take shape so think of it as like a type one that's starting to evolve into maybe a type two or a three or who knows what's happening does it have a head it has a face it is starting to evolve a head and hands. I shoot it with my proton pack. There you go. Hang on a second. I suppose I had to get something to write on. 
Are you guys uh, reporting through the communicators what you're facing and seeing or not? Nah, we well, just scream I, it. You can probably hear a proton pack fire from where you're at. Luthien, okay, so uh, roll, uh, roll to uh, hit uh, Dr. Trapper. Four on the first one. Uh, Are you sharing your roles? Yeah. Sometimes mine don't come up until they're like all done. Yeah. Well, I got a thirty-one. Who? Well, you. Well, what's that? That well mean at the beginning? <laughs> um, <laughs> that was like a really yeah, see, loaded well. Um. The uh, yeah, I didn't. It mine didn't show your role at all, Scott. Yeah, I don't see it at all. Okay, Do you have the globe? Oh, there it is. There it is. There, there you is. go. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, um, wow, very nice. The uh, um, you the you wow did really well um, shooting through a mist that is uh, that is not responding to a proton pack yet. Yeah. It's okay. It's a good. It was a good clean reaction shot but uh um it's too uh, it's too nebulous to uh to take any uh effect it's still it's still kind of coalescing hmm. take my vacuum cleaner out you have one <laughs> no but there's probably one in the corner well, I mean, if you want to search the room for a vacuum cleaner, you, you can. Larry, did you want to take any action? Yeah, I'm going to hit a boson right here where that head thing is. A so boson? I'm, yes, I'm going to blow the shit out of it. Okay. Because that, that'll that that'll disrupt a mist. It, it should. All righty, then. Uh, my first roll is a four. Okay, I got a sick one six, so I'm going to explode that. That is a shitty roll. Well, yeah, but it's 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 just a mist. So I know, so I should be able to hit the floor. Well, yeah, you completely dissipated the mist. Um okay, for those of you on the first floor who did not hear the proton pack, you clearly <laughs> heard the boson dart. Um, oh, when we get a third, we'll read it. <laughs> and uh, um, uh, Trapper was far enough away from the uh, um, from the detonation of the dart. That, oh yeah, uh, he was uh, far enough. I I I, yeah, I, no I saw that. No, you guys were yeah, that was fine. Okay, yes, a well placed boson dart and a in a, in a type one ghost uh, did a fine job dissipating it. Okay. Um, let's let's check let's check with our friends downstairs. Um, it's uh, it's anybody here? We'll roll. I'm gonna put since the party split. I'm gonna put uh, Trapper and Larry. Um, and then uh, why don't the rest of you just just for my own sake uh, roll for initiative so I can see who's gonna go first. Luthien, you can clear your dice tray. A lovely five. Lovely five. Wait. Uh -uh. Oh, okay, so I've got Smooter with a 13, and then uh, Darius with a 10, and then Luthien, what? and then Tori. Okay, so Smooter? Yes. How's that, soup, how's that soup looking? I will stir the pot. And you notice that it is, um, it is fragrant. It is Ooh. really tasty smelling. I will taste. And, and it tastes it good. Uh, it's human, dude. I will offer oh, it. It's canned minestrone. I'll offer it to Darius. Dar Dar you want to taste the minestrone? 
I'm, yeah, said, I'm gonna head upstairs. Yeah, yeah, Lorraine, yeah. clear your tray. There's a ghost coming. Why are you heading upstairs? I don't know that. Oh wait, there's something back coming, here too. Yes. From the basement. Is you know, oh coming up a, through the floor or through the coming basement? Coming from the floor straight up, and it looks right at Smooter and says, "Is it soup yet?" Jesus. <laughs> Is it soup yet? It's minestrone. It's <laughs> soup. Yeah. Everyone roll your cool. Well. Moving, you can clear your dice tray. Our cool is really hard. Wow, 21 cool. Darius is rock solid. Smooter's holding his ground. Okay, I got one six, so... I got a six, so I got 21. Wow! Everybody rolled above a 10. Except for Tori. Except Tori. He doesn't like soup. <laughs> Tori ran around the corner and <laughs> saw a movement behind him and got startled and looked in the mirror. Roll your cool again. I <laughs> Every bit is high. <laughs> Tori sees. Lorraine, can you clear your tray? <laughs> Tori sees. I like to leave it if it's hot. <laughs> a decades old, decrepit, meatloaf looking face. I love meatloaf. And so, real life. <laughs> and screams and is frozen in front of the mirror. Well, two out of three ain't bad. Um, Darius, it's your turn. <clears throat> I say, it looks like you're going to want a sandwich with the soup. And I charge wow. in with the wow. neutrino blade. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Have at it! What the hell are you going to do to him with your sandwich stuff? I'm well, attacking with the neutrino he's blade. He's with the blade. And I can't see your rolls yet either. I mean, normally I can. Whoa! 42. 42. Dang. Okay, so you tear through his, his form at the waist. And you cut him in half. So his legs and the bottom half of his body fall through the floor and disappear and he's floating with his arms up and looks at you and says all I wanted was <laughs> um, Luthien your turn say, it's not a meal unless you have a sandwich with it <laughs> Don you shoot him with my uh, pistol <clears throat> Um, what kind of pistol? Proton. Oh, it's a proton. Proton pistol. Okay, go. I roll a one. That means I aim. Come on. I need fire. Jesus. Mm. Fifteen. And I roll the 12. You hit. Mm. So is he like a, kind of blurry now? Blinking? No. <clears throat> He's kind of reaching for Darius. And uh, I need you to uh, make a brains roll, Darius. 
I can't dodge it first. No, this is this is not a physical attack. <laughs> One more. Thirteen. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, I only rolled a three. So okay. Um uh Smooter, it's your turn. I pick up the minestrone and I throw it on the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting good oh, soup. Um, roll, uh, roll your moves. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, Darius, you hey, get splashed with some of the soup too. Fire weapon. I I have a very high dodge, though. Can I roll with my dodge? Yeah, you can roll your dodge. Fire weapon. No, I would say talk. that it's not really a fire. It's it's not it's not a traditional ranged it's weapon. Pretty spicy. Pretty, spicy. It pretty It's pretty decent. But so you, so. Um, Darius successfully dodges. The ghost has been struck with the minestrone, which not only is now on him, but is on the cabinet behind him. And he looks at Paul and says, Mmm. Paul. Oh. Mmm. Good. <laughs> and flies through the ceiling of the kitchen away. I think that was a good use of soup. That was a great use of soup. So you say there's ravioli too? <laughs> there is. Because I'm thinking we need some ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so roll uh, roll your moves to uh, prepare the ravioli. It also has a pop top. 21. I can't see your roll. Oh. Wow. Well, you start successfully warming up the ravioli, which has a very savory, meaty smell. Um, let's go back to uh, the uh, second floor. Okay, what's the peak meter say? Uh, peak meters um, readings have returned to normal. Okay, should we go to the other room? You going in, Larry? Yes, I'm opening the door and looking in. You're opening the okay. door. I saw this movie. And you're seeing a long bathroom with a dual vanity that culminates at the end with a bathtub. Is there a lady taking a bath? I don't think you're close enough to see. I'm gonna go check it out and say, watch my back. Okay. And as you go in, the door slams shut. Bummer. Trapper's on the other side. I am. Ah, oh, fuck. Boom, 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 shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot what? <laughs> Shoot, shoot shooting. shooting. Yeah. That's a good song. Shoot song. Shoot. What are you shooting? The proton. Just the proton? Yeah, not the boson. I already I'm fired. Just checking. I'm just checking. So, okay. Uh, 23. No sixes. Ooh. No sixes? No sixes at all. I didn't roll yet. I believe you rolled a uh, four. I might as well have. I rolled a 14. I will okay, pretend to be fetch. disappointed. Uh, she's in a containment. 
Um, no, no, no. She's in a very excited way to give you a hug. Right. No, 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 no. Um, roll your uh, roll your moves. My moves? Well, isn't it? Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna do that. Um, uh, and I explode one six. Twenty two. Yeah. Seriously, you rolled a fourteen right. again. Huh. Yeah, I did, and that was even with a six. Okay, so um, you uh, step aside, and the uh, and there is a uh, volume of ectoplasmic slime on the tile. Her attempt to give you a slimy hug just ended up on the floor. Scott, is there anything you want to try? Open the is door. door open? Is, is door locked? Are you trying the door? Yeah, I'm going to try the door first. If it opens. Gonna... It okay. opens. I go in, and I will also shoot the ghost with my proton back. Okay. Larry, yeah, position yourself. Okay, go. Three, the first one. God dang. Look at this. Well, it's not a 14. <laughs> that one got knocked over. Okay, 53. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Did you explode your sixes? One, two, yeah. three, four. Whoa. Yeah. He did just Nicely explode done. and nuclear them. Okay, just well, you, you clearly swept across her with a uh, particle stream that kind of uh, knocked her back and and spun her around. Um, let's go downstairs. I want to shoot her in the backside. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, Smooter, are you continuing to cook? Yes. How's my ravioli doing? It's, it's it, it smells smoother. fantastic. You you uh, definitely are. Uh, um, it's, it's it. Have you have you tasted it? I'm tasting it. I'm tasting the ravioli. It, it, it oh, is. That's gonna be it nasty. is. It is salty goodness. Awesome. Just the right amount of slimy pasta texture. I offer the ravioli to my compatriots. I say, hey, smoother. What do you think about going back to the car and getting those tripods? It seems like we got a lot of ghosts inside here. It's a good idea. Let's finish the ravioli first. <laughs> Once the ravioli is finished, I'll go. Well, I mean, it's, it's, uh, so um, Darius, did you want to go get the pods while Smooter is eating his ravioli? No, actually the ravioli looks pretty good. Uh -huh. So, Lindsay, what would you, what would you like to do? Take a bite, but then I want to like check out and see if there's some way into the basement. The guy said that Detroit guy said that there's a some way to get into the basement from here. I thought he did. He did. Do I so, see any way hey, into the basement? Well, are you looking for one? Yeah. Okay. Roll your What's brain. I mean, is there uh, another Tori, while Darius over here? Yeah, you can you can look there, Tori. Your your uh, Come your on. mesmerism on. is uh, complete. Ooh. So you you have you have snapped out of the startling, um, but now that you have grown accustomed to your uh, um, to looking in the mirror, do you want to take a deeper look? Oh yeah, do that. That totally sure. as well. Kevin, it I rolled like a six. Thing I might guess at. So, um, yes, I saw that, Darius. Uh, hang on just a second. Now, so you're you're you rolled that to looking uh, for the um, door. Looking for the door to the basement. Okay, you you don't find anything. Um, 
the uh, 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 are you uh, do you are you wanting to approach Tori? I thought there's no doorway along here. There's two. There's two doorways. Okay. Whoa. There's. I mean, there's, there's, and they're not even. They're they're open passages. There's the open passage to the um, living slash reading room, and an open passage to the kitchen. Oh, okay. So there's no door along where I'm standing now. Not with the six. Okay. All right. <laughs> Well, uh, kind of looking so, around, go. I don't know how to get into the basement. So, Tori, you have definitely, you know, from just looking at yourself and turning left to right, you you are convinced that what is happening with that mirror is that is definitely a time distortion or or you know, field. Um, you're you're feeling brave enough to touch it. Absolutely. All right. Barehanded? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Right hand. Yeah. Reach out. Reach out and nice. touch faith. Yes. Um, it is, it feels like a mirror. I mean, it is, it is absolutely something that seems to defy your, uh, um, the explanation. Um, it, it is absolutely focused on only this is a, this will be a, you know one ascertainment from what you can tell it's only organic materials that are affected um or at least you know like if you know i mean a wall looks the same 30 years later but you don't look the same 30 years after you're dead when you when you're looking in the mirror and you see darius walking around behind you you can see him as a decomposed corpse as well but all of the, you know, the stuff that he's got on, the everything that, you know, I mean, the, the surroundings looks no different. Get that. So I'm going to look around for something really, really heavy. Or a candlestick nearby? Um, there's, there's a fairly heavy book. I mean, you could, if, I mean, are you wanting to, I mean, what, I mean there's probably something in the kitchen. I mean, what, what are you wanting to do? Break the mirror. Oh. And pluck it. It's just a, a an F. Well, it, are you looking for? So you are looking for something to smash the mirror. Yes. Okay. Well, what do you, I mean? There's a chair. Do you want to? I mean, you. I mean. Wasn't there a bookcase in the other room? Is there anything in the there bookcase? Is. Anything? That, that's there is. There's, a, there's a, You know, I mean, you could find some hardbound volumes to throw at that thing if you wanted to. I was thinking something harder, like you know, one of those. Bookshelf things that held the books up. Something. Well, there's, something a, there's an empty pot of ravioli. Uh, a whole can of something. You know, a the decent. Can? Like, you know what? A, can a, soup on it. a can of soup can make a pretty decent little weapon. I'm gonna go back and get a can mm -hmm. of soup and come over and try to break the mirror. Okay, roll your moves. My moves of. Hey. Two, three, four, five, and one more. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. That's, those are fairly impressive moves. Did you explode your six? I did. Okay. Um, okay, you successfully grab a uh, can of string beans and throw it at the mirror with with your with all your might and the can bounces off the mirror and does not crack or scratch it let's go back upstairs uh, uh trapper uh larry went first the in you came in so now you can go first yeah, so the ghost is not contained, so I'm going to shoot again. Okay. Roll again. Two on the first. Seven. 
Usually you roll 40, four dice. So. 49. One, two, three. Well, he exploded three sixes. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, well, uh, clearly, it was seven times my roll. <laughs> uh, both, the ghost is contained. It's in a containment screen. Okay, I'm going to pop a trap under and trap. Perfect. Roll your moves just for fun. Just roll roll one six-sided die. I did not roll a six. Well, that's a shame. I don't um, consider it a shame at all. Your ghost, your bathtub ghost, has been eliminated. Yay. Okay, one um, trap is full. One trap is full. I mean, you can always run downstairs and take it outside and clear it if you want to. Nah, um, we'll just go upstairs. Okay, go upstairs. Uh, okay, so you're heading up to the third floor? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, the, uh, um... We tell the people downstairs. What's happening, what's happening downstairs? Um, Tori has thrown a can at the mirror and did no damage. And Smooter has uh, been uh, uh, very uh, happily feeding the the crew. If are we done with the ravioli? Did we eat it all? Yeah. I'm gonna go get the tripod. Okay. Where would you like to set them up? Um, how long will it take me to get there and back? Oh, it's you're parked right outside. Literally right outside. Then, uh, let's see. Ghost appeared in the kitchen, so I'd like to wear off the kitchen. Okay. So, like, uh, what do we have for markers? But I've got them. I'll place them. Put them on the board. Yeah. If we set the tripods out up outside the house, will it contain the entire house? Um, or no, or because that's I, what we decide was the what what did we decide was the footage on it? Hundred foot. Yeah, that's what I thought. So the house is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Across. Yeah, we can easily contain the entire house within the, the tripods. But does it, like, affect things inside the walls? And does no. It, does it mean that yeah, everything only, inside the house would no, get you wouldn't, the only The only space you could contain would be between the, um, the outer bricks of the house and the... Um, Location? Yes. I mean, it would, I mean, whatever that space is. It wouldn't. It would not work. I mean, with I mean, through brick walls, it wouldn't work. Wouldn't okay. trap anything in the house in its place. They'd have free roam. But if they came out of the house, they'd be. They'd, prevented they'd from going beyond. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yes. Yes. So well, and, I'm going to help. I'm going to um, say that the tripods are tall. You can extend them so they're tall enough to connect over the sink. You see what I mean? Sink? Yeah, and over the nope. cab, over the over the countertops. Yeah, I'm just gonna help um, Smooter set up the tripods. I guess it's gonna take okay. some time. So if like all of sure. us are doing it, we can get it done uh, quicker. Luthien, yeah. Tori, and do you have any ideas what you might like to do? Uh, I like to find if there's a plug behind this mirror. And I close my eye, I'm not going to look at it. Because they close my eye, I'm not to look at it. Okay, so you're going to approach the mirror with no, with your eyes shut. No, not shut, looking on the floor. 
Okay. So you're just directly on the mirror. Feel behind the mirror. Yeah, and then I look behind the board or the wall, see if there's connection to the okay, mirror. So are, you going, are you going to move the the whole apparatus? Yeah, if it's, if it's just like plug into something, I can unplug it. Okay. Um, yeah, roll your brains. Sorry, I've rolled a six. I'm, I'm not sorry at all. I can knock it down. No. Knock it I down. Didn't. I think you knocked it out of the park. No, I did not. So sorry. Right I didn't the find the pop. Did a fine job. There's no reason you can explode those sixes if you want to. But it won't lock down the the first one. I'm not sure yeah. about that. Yeah, it might. But I roll really high. You did a great job. You did a great job accidentally looking in the mirror. Roll your cool. Uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but what is she it's... doing that from the other room? Oh, four. Not bad. Come on. Oh, I locked down the four. Damn it. It stays, stays the same thing. Uh, 12. Whoa. Okay. So you are not terrorized beyond the capacity for rational thought, but you are definitely intrigued by the mirror so much that it, it rests your attention for the rest of your turn. Tori, is there anything else that you wanted to do? Oh, she's at the same mirror I'm at, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Correct. So I've noticed that she's been messing around. I'm already was mesmerized, so it shouldn't affect me again. Good, I will good luck with of, that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to like take a look around and take a good guess to see if there's anything behind it, if it's attached to anything, if it's just a thing. If it's so you're just gonna, the, You're going to take a guess? Yeah, by looking okay. and investigating, but also, you know... You've already yes, you've already ascertained a lot. You're gonna take a guess as to what its power source might be. If there is a power source, is it attached to anything? Is it um, you know, yeah, any, anything, anything, anything that will give me some kind of a clue about it? Yeah, I'm in. And in doing, I used a twenty-two of guessing. Okay, so let's so we will Just assume probably... that. A um, one, two, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So thirty. So it will say that a thirty-five would be the top guess, and half of that is less than twenty-two. So you, um, you, you can. You're taking a good guess that this is some sort of an artifact that defies science. Uh, probably something that would be worth some study, um, but it is it it is not electric. It is not anything that uh, uh, is conventionally powered. Aha! Is it also attached to the wall? Is it something by l overlooking it all that I can think? When of? when hey, um, we can load this into the back of the 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 ecto and take it with us. It is, it is attached to, it is a mirror that is attached to the back of that, um, uh, you know, that, uh, yes. Um, but, uh, you know, with, uh, with the screwdriver, you could unscrew the brackets that have it connected to that piece of furniture. Keep in mind. Um, okay. You guys headed toward the third floor? Yes, we the, are. Uh, the, third, the third floor... Hang on just a second. Um, yeah, I guess it does. It's just, it's just a straight upstairs. So when you get to the, uh, um, to the top of the top stairs... Of the stairs. Uh, 
It got dark. Uh, yeah, I know. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm in the but, dark. Trapper, did you lock? Did you lock your character? Mm, no, I don't think so. How do you lock? I just, for whatever reason, I wasn't able to. Whoa! I Whoa. didn't do that. I destroyed the building. That looks I'm unattractive. Angry. Whoa. Okay, how do I get myself smaller? I got it. Okay. Take the blue pill. Yes. <laughs> Have a teenage girl talk to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you come up the oh, stairs, <laughs> and you see um, Dr. Troit, who is laboring, and, um, hang on just like a Like having a baby laboring? So the whole floor, yes. The whole floor is open. It's dominated by a large table in the center of it. A large leather strap holds down a creature that looks somewhat familiar to you guys, constructed from body parts of various bodies. A set of electrodes are attached to its temples and feet and run to an unusual piece of equipment in the northeast corner. And Dr. Troy says ah I've been expecting you oh friends we have fresh meat and down from the ladder pop in uh huh uh huh some so I'm going to very cleverly speak into our communications device and say, help, come up here now, <laughs> third floor, help, help any help, help. And I'm going to shoot a boson right where Hinch 2 is. What? Because he looks like he wants to catch. He's going to play catch. Please work. So you are shooting a boson. <coughs> Pardon me. Across the creature. Yes. To the. Uh, okay. It's two. So it's yeah. over. The creature is on a table strapped oh, down. Oh, right? no, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. So I'm going to blow up these guys who are not strapped down to a table. Okay, two sixes. One more six. One more six. Nope. I turn. Damn it. Uh, 37. 37. 14. Hey, I know that number. Yes. <laughs> you've you been rolling. You've rolled a fourteen job. against me every time. That's Isn't just weird. Great? Yeah, it's very, it's very strange. So, the uh, um, so as you level off and fire, um, you the boson dart lands among the henchmen and detonates, and this one kind of, you know, rolls back, and this one rolls back, and this one is knocked over here against the wall. Nobody's blown apart or anything. Um, Hinch 2 took the full impact of the dart. Yes. So, I can say, why don't um, you slip into something more comfortable? Like a coma. And, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Troit, who is uh, who was standing positioned near a set of electrodes. It looks like he's holding them fired, in both hands. Yeah. Has now ex has now connected those electrodes. And and this 
nifty machine here starts kind of revving up, definitely making, you know, uh, a little bit of sparks and some noises and starts to uh, starts to potentially operate. And um, trap I with you. I will shoot the machine with my proton pack. You will shoot the machine with your proton pack. Yes. Um, roll yeah. to hit. Um. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. So you lash out with the proton pack beam, which gets caught in between the these two closest electrodes. Okay. And okay. starts to like you know zap and spark and do things and appears to only be contributing to the machine's power. And Dr. Troy starts laughing madly. And the henchmen are going to, whoops, I suppose I ought to try to, I'm gonna start making their way Well, it's okay if they don't. We're okay. Around. Um, and uh, I'll let you guys have one more turn. Um, uh, Larry, what do you want to do? What? Uh, not die. I'm going oh, to... Well, I'm going to pivot and... Uh, so that I don't have a chance of hitting Trapper. But I'm going to go ahead and take out Hinch 3, because he's a dick. I'm losing your microphone. Okay, I'm... Did I, am I muted? You're going to... Hinch 3. Hinch 3, yes. Because he's awesome. Uh, no, that is incorrect. He is a dick, and he is... About to be dickless because of my awesome firing. So what what are you shooting with? I am shooting with the proton pack, which hurts like hell on humans. Thirty eight. Okay. Thirty eight. And you shoot toward henchman number three and no, see I your proton beam. No, you shoot toward him, and you see your proton stream interfered with and grabbed by the machine. And it's almost like it's like you can see it pulsing, like it's gulping power from you. Well, I'm just going to turn and, that off. And now you see that the creature that is on... The table is starting to move. Fed it. Um, Trapper, what do you want to do? I will use my Mason pistol and shoot Dr. Troy. Okay. Yes. Shoot Dr. Troy. A twenty a twenty four? Yes. Did it not help us to help? And you shoot the Mason pistol and strike him and he laughs again and tears open his coat. And inside the coat is this black rubberized suit oh, with yeah. all sorts of electrodes and wires and things that uh, that have assimilated the mason stream or the mason dart without effect 
and he yells, Nothing can destroy the Doctor! Ah, oh, shit, he did that in Bummer. the Dan Aykroyd voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, uh, the henchmen are going to attack. Hench number three has a nice blade for Larry. Hench number two has a nice blade for Trapper. And Hench number one looks like he's got a gun. Um, so Henchman number one is going to point the gun at Trapper. Henchman number two is going to take a swipe with the blade. And he will miss. What's your um, moves, Trapper? Roll my moves? Yeah, roll your yeah. move to dodge. Unless you have dodge. No, yeah, we don't have dodge. What do you have? Uh, moves. I have Judy. Okay. Uh, three. Ooh. 30. Damn. Okay, well, the, the henchmen clearly aren't, uh, you know, this, as skilled warriors. Um, you deftly, easily dodge the swipe of the blade. Larry, um, I need you to do the same, please. 17. Aha! 15 this time! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you also um, dodge... A stabbing motion from uh, the henchman um, who has just stabbed into uh, into thin air. <laughs> we go back to the third floor. What have our friends been doing down here? We hear, I hear the call for help. And yep. I'm <clears throat> heading up the steps. I mean, who, okay. who am I going to call? Ghostbusters. Exactly. <laughs> okay, you can go up the stairs. Uh, Tori, what are you choosing to do? Same thing, I'm following. All right. Uh, Luthien, what are you choosing to do? Except I just went the calling other way. Calling us to help? I'm sorry? Are they calling us to help? Yes. The guys they, are upstairs. Yes, they, they did. did. Okay, then we'll go upstairs then. Okay, and uh, Smooter, what would you like to do? I'm doing the same. I heard the call. All right. So you guys, are, I'm gonna move. Um, allow me to move you. We will allow you to move us. Okay. So um, Darius was first, right? Then Tori. Then Luthien, and then Smooter. Correct? Yeah. So they told us it's the third floor, right? Um, no. All he yes, said was help. I said third floor. Yeah. He said third oh, you did? Floor. Yeah, I definitely yeah, said third floor. Okay, so, so you make it, the, the second. make it up the second floor, and you uh, um, start to round the corner. And as you do... Is the ghost horrible. boy wants to die. You ruined my lunch. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Darius, I need you to uh, roll a uh, brains, please. That'll 16. be a roll. Damn it. Okay. And can I carve through him with the neutrino blade as I head up the, to the third floor? Uh, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce your um, bonus by two because it's such close quarters. You are not wanting to damage your blade. So instead of rolling the plus four, roll a plus two. Oh, 
44 to 6. <laughs> you slice at the ghost who now has become headless. He was he is legless and headless and the torso is floating in the uh um you know it just kind of in the staircase it's just it's just hovering no matter it's but a scratch is his name so Nick? what would you yes no nick is nearly headless what would you like to do <laughs> i'm just heading past to okay. the third floor um, okay um as as you as you move through it uh, roll, roll a six-sided die. Five. Okay. And you head upstairs. Uh, what do the rest of you want to do? Power through. All right. Roll a six-sided die. A six-sided die. Yes, please. Maybe you want to contain it or something if you're, or trap it. A wand? Yeah. Okay. I think it's only uh, waiting, Lucy, waiting what for would you like to do? See if you can trap him. Can I see if I can trap him? Well, you just walked through them. Okay, I, I'm, you're I'm up, good. You're yeah. upstairs. That's why I asked Luthien what what she wanted to do. You want to trap it or just shit it? It's dead. Trap it, or else okay. just walk through it and get zapped. And I can put there. down the trap. Yeah. Okay, I'll put down the trap. Is it my turn? Yes, yes. it's your turn. Do I need to row? Yes, you do. You're you roll to see if you scared. get a six. I'll just roll once. Okay. I would roll one. One okay, six. Okay, two. So I, okay. I trap. I put down you the trap. successfully trap the headless floating torso. It's headless. And since you guys took... Um, um, that action, I'm going to move to the third floor and you guys can join them in the next melee round. I didn't um, get an action. Yeah, Smooter. You, well, blocked. I think you're blocked. blocked. I think you're blocked. I'm a little bloated too. The Minestrone yeah. just not sitting. Uh-oh. That's not good. Um, okay, so uh, uh, Trapper... What do you want to do? I will shoot Henchman 1 with my mace on pistol. Okay. That makes sense. Henchman, which one's the one you I shot thought first? You shot two. two. I shot two first. was at the center of the blast. Yes, that's right. One and three were both injured, but uh, Correct. two took the brunt. Yes. 35. Ugh. Well, that's... Well, let me... Hang on. Let me at least... Let me at least roll for the poor sap. Nope. Okay. He Ooh. takes a hit. And... Um... Uh, I mean... Is that? Can you see the blue? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So he's been um, tagged, right? He has been tagged. Uh, Larry, I'm gonna lob a boson dart at that machine. All righty. Because uh, I'm also, uh, if I roll a six. It doesn't count. 
the middle name is Mulligan. He gets oh, used fuck. Out, so. Yeah. Nice. Okay, you... Does it dodge? The... What? Does it dodge? Does it dodge? It does not dodge. It, it goes boom. It does not dodge. It just well, goes boom. It, it just it just absorbs just as it has with every energy blast you've taken to it. A boson dart. How long has it been running? How much juice has it sucked from two proton pack hits? Isn't a boson explosion a kinetic energy? Is it? What do we really know about the boson dart? Yeah. We know, know that it's know. convenient for me to blow up stuff. Okay. It says they're extremely volatile particles, intense energy packets. I say it's been absorbed. Well, I think you should say something else, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, fuck. It is Darius's turn. There's dudes with swords. Attacking. Maybe sword fight them. I want to go right sorry? between Larry and Trapper and head to the table and the head. Ooh. The zombie. Nice. Oh. The, the zombie that has been connected to the strange and powerful thing, you're going to mm -hmm. take your energy connected blade and touch it but in fairness he doesn't it. know shit about all that yeah roll to hit <clears throat> no sixes no sixes 29 all right you, as you make contact with the creature and your Neutrona Blade, you start to feel a deep vibration. It is shaking your body. Yeah, it he, is starting... he, he has things on his nightstand that do that. <laughs> you have... Severed the head. You've severed the head, but you cannot pull back your blade. You feel that it is just taking as uh, as much energy from uh, that blade. You can feel it just being absorbed. Just hit the power button. Yeah. Yeah. Can I turn off the pack? Um. You yeah you can turn you can you got a button right there to turn it all off. I turn it off. You turn it off, and I need everyone to roll their moves. If you have dodge, you can roll dodge. What about Landon? Landon. Dodge, Landon Taylor. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, uh, hey there, Dr. Stan. Yes? Look at my roll. How'd you do? No, not not, not very high. Explode your oh, sixes. No, you're, you're, you're downstairs. <clears throat> oh, good. Oh, you said everyone. I did yeah, say everyone. Did. Explode Ooh, your sixes. Okay. Luthien, did you roll? I did not. Oh, she's downstairs. She doesn't have to. Luthien's downstairs. Okay, so yeah, everyone... I have ten yet. As, as the sizzling and the smoking and the, the shaking of Darius was fairly visible to everyone, you all were able to uh, successfully shield yourself from the explosion of rotted carcass 
that resulted from the overloaded power oh, shit. of the blade and the and the electric connected monster. So it's just when the blade hit it, it basically drew energy until it popped like a wet meat balloon. Um you guys got yucky but you stayed on your feet. Um well, the, uh, the uh, oh no nobody's nobody's dead. Peter um, Boyle on the table. Yes, Peter Boyle is dead. He will not be putting on the Ritz. Which is a real shame. It's had such a great plans for that. Okay, henchman number two has been knocked off of their feet. As has henchman number three. So henchman number two and number three are out of commission for the round. And um, Dr. Troit has dropped the uh, um, electrodes he was holding there and has climbed this ladder and is gone. Gone. He ran like a chicken shit. He yep. ran away, uh, and you hear a slamming of the uh, um, of a hatch. Um, the machine is still operational. Two of the henchmen are are you know on the floor, and the third one that is tagged is. Um, is still uh he's still you know kind of groggy but up uh luthien and smooter we are here you are upstairs and Victoria, do this move um no we haven't done any since we got upstairs have we we're waiting for the aftermath it's uh well i mean darius just just uh uh, blew everybody up, so it's uh, Tori, it's your move. Oh. I don't know if I, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, er, um. So I'm taking it, uh, obviously, Frankie's blown up bits. Yeah, and you the guy see, here. like, blown up corpse that was bigger than. Um, well, Tori no, was there to see the, the whole you guys, there, aggro. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to decide if I want to. Uh, well, I mean, you can talk to everybody. Attack at one of the henchmen. You know what I mean? Um, you the henchmen. Henchmen. Three, don't you have a Mason pistol, too? Ooh, no, I don't. Tag. Henchman one has been tagged with the Mason pistol. I don't have one, I only have oh, a proton okay. pack. And I don't want to fire it because the machine will like my power. Just in case, I want to make things worse. Well, you well, don't, I don't have know. I'll. You can just punch out henchman two or henchman three. Use like brawl or something. And do some ass kicking. You can use your muscles. Sure, why not? Walk brawl. over to the guy who's already. I always look weak. Henchman number one, he looks weak. Like he can be knocked over. Let's go punch him. Hey, is that is he... machine? Is that machine still humming? Like it has yes. a lot of electricity? Yes. Yes, it's still. It's. I mean, it's not increasing, but it's. It's. It's 100% running. The because um. If the connection got snapped. It wouldn't be working anymore. Well, no, the connection didn't get snapped. It's just. I mean, it's. I mean, the, the golem on the table when it exploded is not plugged into the machine, but the machine's fine. Oh, okay. Precious. I don't think we want the machine to be fine. Yeah. Oh, we don't, but we don't think we can shoot at it either so far. It just unplug it. Yeah, yeah Luthien can unplug it later, but just like Tori, take out one of the henchmen. That's all I was trying to do. 
Yeah, you can do that. So you can go up and beat the crap out of them. You can go beat the hell out of the henchman that's unconscious. That'd be intimidating. Well, you can't really intimidate somebody unconscious, but you can try. Just oh, like you kick number one in the balls up. or something. Oh, number you, one is still up. you can intimidate the one that's on his feet. Sure, if you want. Sure, that's what I want to do. Okay, go for it. Yelling, Ooga Booga, get the hell out of here, you slum sucking slime sliver flinging flagum. <laughs> That's your intimidate. Ooga Booga! Yeah. <laughs> 17 well, is it all. Worked. It worked. <laughs> and he runs to the stairs, and just as he go down, goes down, he says, You'll see me again, and I'll have friends. Which stairs is he running towards? The stairs down. But he has to go through all of us all to get us? through there. Yeah, Luthien and Smooter are coming <laughs> up the steps. But he got down. Wow. They were up. They were up. And and Dar and uh, and Tori yelled at him, and he ran away. He told them to get out of here, and he did. Okay. Isn't that what he? Isn't that just what you said? Pretty darn much, yes. Get, get out of here. He did. You accomplished your goal. Um. You've got two unconscious henchmen, the moving machine, and a uh, uh, and a ladder to a hatch door in the corner. How about uh? I'm going to head up the ladder where I saw the Detroit guy run. Okay. And, hey, Luthien, can you try to shut off this machine with your engineering skill? Sure. Do I need to roll? Unplug, or just unplug, unplug it, right? Unplug it or something? You, 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 you always need to roll. <laughs> to unplug something. Yes. You always need to roll. If you would like to unplug it, that would be great, but you need to roll. Can uh, we get up through the... Engineering? <laughs> Can we get up the ladder? Okay, I roll two. So okay. I well, I, you can continue to roll. How many is your engineering? Eight. You have seven more chances to knock that dice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't knock anything. How about that? I think I have 20. Those are some pretty low rolls. But yeah. you do find what you think is a power switch. So I unplug it. It says, it, it says O-V-E-R-L-O-A-D. <laughs> oh, why, why is it over No, it doesn't. It doesn't. You find a power switch with a 20. Would you like to flip it? Yeah. Okay. Oh. You, you <laughs> flip <laughs> the power switch. <laughs> no, you don't have to roll. And the machine begins to cycle down. You can definitely tell that it's powered down. It's still connected, but it's powering down. Um, and, uh, okay, Darius, are you going up the ladder? And if... I'm going yeah. to. Okay. As well. are, the, are the henchmen unconscious? Um, the two that are there remain unconscious. I'll but, tie uh, them up. Well-aimed proton pistol shot to the head will end their unconsciousness. Oh. I'll tie them up. I'll tie that them up. That doesn't sound sporting. Okay. So... You're going to tie, you said you're going to tie them up? Yes, there seems to be rope and stuff tying that monster down. I'll tie yeah, them like cables, like power cables. That's fair. Use. Sure. I'll tie their legs and their arms behind them. Okay. 
I like it. All right, Don't anybody else want to go up? Any, is everybody else going up the ladder? Tori will go. Yep. Okay, Tori's going. So is so. Tori's up. Trapper's up. Who else? Trapper. Okay. Well, I was up there. Yeah. Why'd you move? Didn't I put you up there? Oh. Yeah, okay. you moved Darius some mysterious place. Oh. Off into the blackness. I'm sorry. Yeah, so Darius and Tori. Oh, here we are. And Trapper. Oh. Well, this is interesting. There's a bunch of cloned redheads. Yes. They're all Mary Janes. Well, they're just... They're Janines. They're, they're all Janines, technically. And so... What are these? Are these like cages or boxes? They are. They are cages. And, uh, well, who else is who else is going up? I think we all are. Okay. Well, if if you guys can see, position yourself near the trap door. I don't see anything. Oops. Um, oh my. In the bottom left yeah. corner of the map. Do you see it now? Yeah. Okay. So I'm missing Smooter, and I'm missing. Luthien's um, messing with Luthien. the machine. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'll give we'll we'll give one round of delay for Luthien's who's who's messing with the machine. I'm I'm tying up the uh henchman. That's right, you are. Okay. Now so there is Dr. Troy. And and you guys come up and and he says he says, So here we are. You new fangled ghost trappers or whatever you saw yourself to be you, you... so disappointed Dr. Troit I thought you were going to be a friend but now we will have to defeat you but but you will see the superior science that I have brought to humanity by reanimating the dead allow me to demonstrate and and you'll see the superiority of my foot in your balls. So wow. can I kick you in the nuts? So <laughs> um so um Yeah, you enough try, talk. You can, you can try kicking him in the nuts. Um, All right, so I'll roll. All right, go ahead and roll. I'm using my kick things over talent. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only 21. Three ones. Only 21. Here, hang on. I'm getting too excited. Get kicked in the neck. Get kicked in the No, I just was too, uh... There. Okay. So, the, uh... Would you roll a 17? No, you rolled a 21. Alright. Your kick lands... On Dr. Troy, right in the balls, who doubles over and crouches in the corner and and yells, Get him! Get him! And the, the golems all come out of their cages. The cages were open. And... Whoop! They're a little bit bigger. I'm trying to size them. To, they're a little bit bigger than humans, but they're not, I mean, not like Chewbacca size. So, um, this one 
is running for Tory. This one's just running. This one's going for Darius, and so's this one. So, um, uh, Darius, roll your uh, your moves or dodge or whatever. Of 43. 43 dodge? Yeah. Did you explode all your sixes? Two six. Oh, there's another six. Oh, I missed I missed the last Did six. Did you get six sixes? Say yes. Not uh, yet. Yeah. Yeah, I only got one, two. I only got three sixes. Oh, okay. So 47 on my dodge. Which lets you dodge one but not the other. Do I have to roll again for the second one? No. Because what? Because I rolled a six on one of them, so I'm assuming that while you were distracted with one, the other one got in a cheap hit. So um, uh, take off uh, one brownie point. Not happy. Um, Larry, no, Tori, uh, do you have a moves or a dodge or a, I do have a dodge. Well, my <laughs> guess is it's going to be bigger than eight. So roll your first one. It is bigger than eight. Okay. It's eight. Man. That's not what she said. Or. Four is fine. Okay, you successfully dodge. Oh, look, you did. Um, okay, uh, Trapper goes first. I will use you my mason gun and shoot the golem three. Okay. Four. Forty-four. What'd you shoot? Golem three. Golem three. Four. Yeah, no, with what? Mason. That's that's what I thought. The um, I rolled a six, so okay. your uh, your shot went past and electrified this cage okay. that I can't. Well, I guess I kind of. I guess I can. I went to the side. I can be resourceful. Can you see the blue? Yeah. Uh huh. The electricity is charged to the cage. Um. And uh, Larry. Thank you. I am going to fire a uh, boson at Golem 3. Okay. Hopefully hitting 1 and 2 in the uh, spread of the awesomeness yes. non-electricity sucking monsters. <laughs> Fire away as okay. I roll my response. Exploding two sixes. 37. What did I roll? Hey, not a 14. Not a 14. And a total nothing else. Nothing remarkable about that roll at all. Not at all. Um, You... Have fired the uh, the the boson dart and the uh, um, golem has uh, been struck by the boson dart. Exploded. No. the 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 boson dart has yes. somehow fizzled. 
um, against in in this particular case uh, to no effect. I wish you were more fluent in silence. <laughs> Smoother. Hey, what would you like to do? Um, are my henchmen tied up? They are. Do you want to come upstairs? I would like to come upstairs. Okay. You can come upstairs. The trap door is uh, right about where Trapper is. Do you know where you want to position yourself? Can you see where the action is taking place? Yes. Get here. I would like to be in the far corner behind Larry and Trapper. Okay. The upper left-hand corner. Okay, do you have a ranged attack you want to attempt? I have no ranged attack whatsoever. Then your turn would be over. Um, uh, and uh, Darius? Luthien has a turn now, or not? Well, you're, it, according to the uh, um, okay. All established, right. uh, um, no, she's next. I flip on my proton pack and activate the neutrino blade okay. and point it into Dr. Troit's face, right at his throat, and say, call off your golems. No, say, call off your golems or die. You know I, you know I mean it. And but do you read really? Dr. Troit? says never and I attack okay roll Forty-seven. Forty-seven. My twenty-five. When your blade makes contact with Dr. Troy, his suit starts to absorb the energy yeah. that the blade is feeding it. And he is shaking, and you are shaking, and he reaches out to you with his artificial hand that is now glowing electric blue and grabs the blade. Can't I dodge away from him? Um, no, he's not. He's, he's not. I mean, are you, you mean like disengage with the blade? Sure, I do disengage so, around his, it, his it, hand it, and thrust it, it back in. Locked. It's locked in, in the energy. So he's grabbing it now. Okay. And, 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 and the two of you are like locked in this electric death grip, exactly. It's an so electric boogaloo. The, the, it is an electric boogaloo. Um, you're not experiencing any real damage. You're just your joints are seized up and you physically can't move. Uh, Luthien. So I'm on the same floor now, right? You're, you are, you have the opportunity to come upstairs if you want to come upstairs. I should, I guess. That's up to you. I come so upstairs. it's pretty, it's, it's pretty tight quarters up there. So when you come out of the trap door by trapper, where are you? Where are you trying to get to? Right next to it, I guess. Uh, I mean, are you trying to get between Tori and the golem? Yeah. Okay, what would you like to do? I just uh, shoot the golem. With? With my proton pistol. Okay. Yeah, it's none of this is working. Mm 
Does that turn? I lock my thing to six. Yeah, we should try to see if the slime can deactivate these guys. The, the uh, um, it, it, yeah, I'm sorry that you knocked it to a six, but uh, but that's the rule. So, um, you get up at point blank range and shoot the uh, proton pistol at at the golem, and it just dry fires. It clicks. It, it's not. It's not working. Ah. So I'm going to switch weapon. Okay, Tori, it's your turn. So far from what I can tell, our weapons are not working on them. Just kick them. The energy oh. weapons are not. I don't know if the slime would do something different. Yeah. Yeah. Or else, just oh. physically, kicking the guys on the ball, kicking the the doctor in the balls worked. Is that? I think I'm gonna <clears throat> rush over to where the doctor is and attack him uh, with Darius and just kick him. Okay. At a probably a muscles. Um, or a brawling, yeah, muscles with the brawn or something. Sure. Yeah, muscles. move do I still get to hit him? hit him if you if I mean now you have a clear understanding of, of what's going on in front of you right that there's this big charge of energy that, engulfing that, the two of us the two of the two of them are are locked together with energy coursing across their bodies and through the neutrino blade and everything because the doctor is Still got a hold of him, or because he tried the neutrino blade? The doctor has a hold of the neutrino blade, but he's got his electric suit on. Right. So instead of trying to attach him at the last second, I'll reach over and turn off the neutrino blade. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> roll, job. roll your Good moves. Job. A thirteen. Wait, moves right. five. Hold on. Then, hold on. Hold on. A twenty-five. Okay. okay. Good. Good. Well, good, since good. you had your rubber gloves on, uh, when you reached over to click off the uh, um, switch on the proton pack, and it powered down and released them both. That's very smart. Um, and uh, it is now my move, and the golem will <coughs> take a swipe at Luthien, and one will take a swipe at Darius, and one will take a swipe at so uh, Darius do you want to you you are just released so I am not you won't be able to react to the hit with your dodge but you can with your straight moves does that make sense I got a 24 okay so you're fine. <laughs> you're back at 14 again. Your yeah, favorite number. So Darius, or not Darius, Tori. Yeah. That, why don't you roll your uh, dodge? moves or dodge, if you've got dodge. I'm doing the dodge because it's bigger, bigger, bigger. Roll your six, please. Nope, it's a four. Tell me when you get above 10. Oh, I'm at 20. Okay, you're done. That's, that's <laughs> successfully, 
You don't want him to knock it into a six? No. Uh, Luthien. Yeah? Roll your uh, moves or your dodge, whatever you might have. What do you mean? I can uh, shoot him good. again, right? No, well, it's attacking you, so you need to dodge, or you need to sit there and take the hit. You can choose. So if you have you dodge, have. use that. If you don't, use movement. moves. So my moves? Yeah. Oh, yes. so. You want to your do move. your moves, and if you have dodge as a skill, you can use the dodge instead. So it's either moves run. or dodge. Can I run? <laughs> Um, no, you, no. You, you have, have to use... do your defense move first. Then you can run yeah. after that. Uh, okay. So moves is only three. That sucks. Well, you could roll a six and explode it. Roll a four. It's good so far. Good start. And a six. See? Good there start. you go. Hey, 14 plus a six. Another six. Yes. Twenty-four. See, and you're worried. You successfully fended off the attack of the golem in reach. So, uh, Trapper, it's your turn. I will. Sh <sighs> so, the none of our equipment's working against these golems, or? Well, the uh, energy equipment keep, is not working. Keep, keep keep in mind some of the roles that were that people had when you were seeing this stuff go down the way you did. Okay, I would go we ahead don't and know the, if boson uh, works. I would shoot uh, the Golem Three with the Mason pistol. Okay. I mean, it's not okay. Up oh, my first six. Mm, a lot of sixes. Uh, 34, but as to say, I got a six on the first roll. Yep, so you see your Mason shot go past the golems and strike the cage. Again. Oh, that's Again. useful. Uh, Larry? Uh, Larry would not like to shoot a cage. Uh, Larry's going to help Luthien. I'm just going to jump on Gollum 4 and brawl her. Okay. This is me brawling with no do sixes. Have, do you have a... Is, is brawl one of your talents? Yes, it is. Okay. Exploding two sixes. 37. 37? Yes. Against my 10. When you grab her to pull her away from Luthien, you rip her arm off. By my next turn, I'll be hitting her with that. <laughs> um, and uh, Smooter, it's your turn. Which cage right. got electrified? The one that's blue. The same one. The one in the oh, lower right. One that's oh, tagged. The one that the floor okay. With the mason. So, so a different one did get electrified. Just the same one just kept getting electrified twice. It, it's yes. tagged by a mason pistol. It's All tagged. mason pistols. Uh, I see. I see. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna turn on my taser. And that was and that was the second turn, correct? One more to go, right? It's yeah. One more turn before it's not tagged anymore. Um, I will turn on my taser, phaser, taser, key taser. <laughs> yes. Yes. Tag going four over here. That's been got, got one less arm. Oof. Okay, roll. This isn't really fire weapons, is it? Um, it would be a moves. Okay. There we go. You oh, okay. have 
six times. Twenty-two. This so golem number four. I'm just gonna put red around. Um, as uh, stunned. I mean, it 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 is incapacitated, lifeless on the ground. Well, good for her. Um, Darius. I'm going to kick Dr. Troy in the nuts oh. again. Oh. <laughs> you and your Way to nuts. Be consistent. Way to be consistent. I like it. Oh, man. He is just not well. Is he doubled <laughs> over, crouching on the ground? He's well. I mean, he's he's vomited now. If if he's like down on the ground, uh, can I kick him again in the head? Because that's what one I, does. I mean, if one one kick is one attack, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say he is doubled over on the ground in a pool of his own sick. So you can decide what you want to do next. Next I mean, round. Yes. You mean? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, Luthien. So... Uh, the golem in front of you is on the ground. The golem three that's farther away from you is up as can, our can one... Can I also... I'm um, sorry. Can I also, like, snarl to Dr. Troy? <laughs> sure. I told you. Can, you. you can snarl. Call off your golems or I will kill you. And you know yeah. I mean what I say. You, you, can, you can snarl your... Your horrible threats. I just nobody um, try to slime them. I can try it. Yeah, if you yeah. want to. Okay, so I can shoot number did you three. Bring, did you bring the? Do you have the slime blower, or did you trade out for the net? No, I didn't go trade out anything. Okay. So I try to shoot number three. No. Sure. Ah, oh, I will one. Another one. No. Yeah, I will roll really bad card. Uh, Nineteen, but I got a six. So explode it. You're gonna need to. Twenty-one. Your um, exploded die was enough to push you ahead. Twenty-one. You have successfully slimed golem so, number three. Does it work? It looks like it did. Well, I mean, you ah, slimed okay. her. She's, you know, disoriented by the gross slime that's on her. Okay, She's not possessed or anything, so there's no, you know, there's, I mean, there wouldn't, there's not a ghost or anything that comes out. She's just disoriented and covered in muck. Oh. Oh. So uh, does he uh, use a pillowcase and cover the head? And... <laughs> <laughs> pillowcase. Yeah. Where'd that come from? <laughs> a paper bag. I have some in my back pocket. Okay. I'm guessing the paper bag came from the same place the pillowcase did. <laughs> so we can print out a damn dish. I don't know. Underwear. <laughs> wow. You can pull anything out of their ass. Your underwear off to put it over Golem 3's head. I, I will let you use the rest of your turn to do that. <laughs> um, Tori? Oh, Lord. Um... I don't know if I really want to try to grapple with Slimy Golem and two others. Yeah. I don't know what the hell to attack a Golem with. Just a Golem. Sure, why not? You going to brawl? I don't have brawl, but I got muscles. Well, you got moves. You've got. Is it muscles or moves? I don't know. Muscles would be brawling. Brawling is muscles. Okay, great. I have intimidate, but I don't think they can be intimidated. I, I, I still try to 
muscle them by intim intimidation too, like ah, frenzy on them. All I yeah, you can you can uh, do a screaming attack with your war face. I think that's it. 19. So you screamy attack with your war face and shove the golem with your brawling muscles and slam her back into that cage. She's fallen through the open door. And back into the cage is on the ground. You make an extra move and close the door and lock it. Um, I will let you close the door, and you can uh, uh, use your brains to see if you find a lock that quickly and use it. Using my brains or my guessing on the fly. Ooh, oh, I'll take the guess. I'll take the guess. In which case, I guessed at a raging, well, 40. Oh. You did. <laughs> that was an amazing guess. Um, yeah, you uh, um, uh, found the lock, but uh, but pinched yourself in it. Uh, so lose a brownie point, and it's not locked. What? <laughs> you rolled a six, man. <laughs> uh, not my first time. Or it's, well, no, it's not. Um, I mean, it wasn't my first time. But... I mean, whatever. He's been pinned so the, okay, so I let's see. Golem four is down. Golem two is shut in a cage. Golem three will take a swipe at Tori, and one will take a swipe at uh, Darius. So roll your appropriate defensive maneuver. Do all of us, or just Darius? Uh, both of you. It's my dodge. Did you explode all your sixes yet, Darius? No. Always explode your sixes. I am... Trying to make sure I got the right count. So I got 12, so I got 9, 1, 2, 3. I got one more 6. Oh, fuck, fuck. Did I? <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 9, I got 14. One of them fell off the die and turned into another 6. So I get one I'll more shot. It. I'll take it. Okay, I didn't get that last. Six. So I got five sixes total. I get sixty-five. Oh, so you, so your last roll, because you could have. So what was your, what's your total dodge? My total dodge is sixty-five. No, I know, Jesus. but your total, your dice total. So originally it's nine. So okay. I got five more for fourteen total. Fourteen total dice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you exploded. So I rolled fourteen four. dice. So I should have nine plus five. One, two, three. You should four, have five. nine plus five. It's fourteen, exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't see that last three. I had to scroll. I was like, no, I think you you yeah that He's was on, on the side. Next to the the D six yep, 
it says I found 14. I it said, up, but you did roll you, four. I thought you Yeah, you don't have to count. Four. Like right beside the die, it tells you how many dice you already rolled. Yeah. So there's a count. So I have like 14. I just like look at the count. Oh, well, I can't. You oh, maybe can you can't see it. Count. Okay. I can't. Yeah. So anyways, I have 65. So, nope, that's perfect. Okay, what I'm going to say is that you dodged so effectively that that it uh, um, kind of spun, the, it disoriented the golem and kind of, okay, like, she ended up, like, swiping at the air. Um, so, um, okay, but Tori's roll was fantastic. So, um, you lose a brownie point. Uh, Tori does? Yes. Because like of that. your awesomeness. Because you rolled a six, man. You dodged right in her way. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean by I rolled a six. The, if the first I'm die is a six. your dice tray. <sighs> it's not. It is. It's right there. It says it's It is. Six. It is now. You must have knocked it over. Yeah, well, it wasn't to begin with, but okay. Whatever. I mean, other people can see it too, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, if it did, it did it afterward, but, I, you know, I didn't roll a six I to trust begin with. It. I, I trust oh, you. Yeah. So, yeah, so take if off your brownie not, point because... Pete, hey, if, your die, if your later die knocks the first one into a six, Kevin accepts that as a six. The well, final yeah, roll is the final roll. I don't keep track of what it was. I just know the first one was. But if you rolled a six and it gets knocked over to something else, then it, it shouldn't count as a six. six. So you're cool. That's yeah, right. So it goes both ways. It goes both I already ways. took the point off. Or, so, yeah. Oh, you you goes both ways. A slimy golem. Um, and uh, Trapper's turn. I uh, okay. Uh, Golem three still up or down? Golem three is slimed and up. Okay, I will shoot uh, Golem three with my Mason pistol. Yes, because the Mason charge is now gone from the cage. Is it still electrified though? With blue? no, or... it's it's it it wasn't electrified so much as it was charged with Mason energy. Uh, 34. <laughs> well, my guess is that I won't. So, versus a 12. So, okay. Um, what, what golem is that? Three. Three? Okay, three's down. Ooh. Slimed and on the ground. Um, uh, Larry? Yes? What would you like to do with that arm in your hand? Uh, well, I'm not going to beat number four with it. But uh, one and three are both up, right? Three is down. One and two I'm are sorry, one and up. two. And But two's in the cage. Okay, so I'm just going to waltz on over here. Sorry, I gotta move him so I can get to me. I'm gonna hit her in the head with my arm. And by my arm, I mean Thor's arm. I'm yes. gonna baseball smack her head so it goes flying off. That's my plan. Uh, using brawl. How do I get rid of a, I rolled one too many. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, just don't count the the last one. My third, the third die I threw was a six, and then got hit and turned into a two. Yeah, but the first one you rolled is a six. And the first one you rolled is a six. Yeah, but those don't one. count. We agreed on so that. I got a six, and you got a six, which means. The golem grabbed the arm and took it from you and hit <laughs> you with it. Well, I'm going to dodge her hit. 
Not with a six, you're not. Take your two brownie points of stump in the face. That was a great move. I do not appreciate that, but I understand it. Um, Scooter. Yes. Uh, Larry has just been humiliated by a golem that's now brandishing another golem's arm. And, Which golem has um, the arm? And the other golem is in the cage. Which golem has the arm, number one? One. I pull my mason pistol and fire at golem one. Okay. Fire away. Isn't three already <laughs> tagged? Uh, almost. We got the six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, yeah, forty-five, but the first one was a six. And looky, look. My first one was a six, too. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, that means good. you've got a pretty blue ring around you. You just tagged yourself. Motherfucker. <laughs> I think you I'm are a man. I'm Double a smoothered. You've been smoothered. I've been smoothered bad. You yourself. Darius, what um, horrible things are you going to, to subject Dr. Troy to now? So he's wearing this electric suit, right? He has I, a yeah. rubber suit. He's a fetishist. It's, well, it's rubber with electrodes and wires and stuff. It's something he clearly devised himself. He's he's and wearing an outfit like from can... another Dan Aykroyd movie, East of Eden. Or, is it easy for me to just, like, rip it off him or not? Which is a good movie. Well, I would say that, uh, well, how about you use your use your brain? Why would I do that? You're looking at the suit. I got a 31. Yes, you did. Okay, so clearly this is something that he's contrived himself. And I don't know if you remember the old, old school yellow raincoat fasteners. Yeah. The yeah. Yellow yeah. ones that kind of yeah. slip in and fold over. He's yeah, exactly. got those down the front of him. And so I can just like take my hand and swipe across all of them and you unlock can. him and rip you it off. Unlock him. him and break the seal on the suit. Yes. And so I'm going to just like do that and rip the suit off of him. Okay, well, it, it, it would take your, t I mean, it's it's a rubber, you know, yeah. like it's clingy. It's not, it's not tight like a scuba gear, but it's like, you know, like a, like a raincoat kind of you know, material. And, and I mean, it's easier uh, if I just like grab from the bottom and like yank it over his head. You, all I'm saying is that you could, if you, if your intention is to strip him of the suit, you can, but it will take the rest of your turn. Sure. Can okay. I drag him into the cage and do this? Or can I just like rip the suit off him? Or can I drag him into the cage and then you rip it off? Drag, I, I, yes. You can drag him into this cage. I think this one behind Tori is closer. I don't know where the door is actually. Whichever the door, door. The door to the cage I put you in is closer to you than the door. Okay, sure. To the cage. So I just drag him into the the closest cage. Yep. yep. And uh, and rip the suit off. Just of robe him and strip yeah. him. While you were worried of his sexuality, now he is worried of yours. And can I knee him in the balls as I'm doing this? Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Spare him that humiliation. Um, uh, Luthien, your turn. Let's do something we can shoot. Mm. Um, well, golem number one is is has beaten Larry with an arm and is going to beat him again. 
Okay, I can shoot number one then. With? With the slide blower. Okay. It didn't seem to work, right? Or we can just use a baseball bat. Do you have so a baseball it, bat? Did you, pull, did you pull the baseball bat out of your pillowcase? No, <laughs> not yet. Next time we'll bring that. Next time, sure. Just some paperback. Paperback doesn't act to any of our encumbrance. So. <laughs> okay, I'll Damn. give you that. But then, it, I mean, you're you're gonna. I mean, you know, there could be forty things that don't add to an encumbrance. You could just magically pull from your pants of holding. <laughs> Boy, <I'm> that. <laughs> He's learned so. from the best. <laughs> right. So, okay, so you, you are going to slime. Head. You're gonna slime golem number one. Yes, with a twenty. Yeah. With her big bag of nothing. That's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna give you the slime on golem one without sliming Larry, because you did such a fine job. Um, and uh, Tori, now there's two slimy golems. One's um on the ground in front of you and one has an arm to beat Larry with. Mm, I don't want to wrestle with a slimy golem. And I well, that one's leave... down anyway. Pardon? That one's three? down anyway. Uh, but three... No, four is not slimed, right? Four is down. Four is not slimed, but down. Three is slimed and down. Two is in a cage, and one is slimed and up. Are the slimed ones doing any? The one, the two that are slimed and down, are they able to do anything? Or are they pretty much kind of out of it? Well, one is one was down, and happens to be slimed. The other is up and happens to be slimed. And other than just being messy, it doesn't look like the slime is working. I mean, they're not possessed. But it is messy. I'm thinking, thinking more along the lines of it would be hard to grapple with a slime would. creature. You would. Well, you, don't know that. You, could brawl, you could brawl with a slimed creature, but you would do so with a disadvantage. Link. Um... And but three is down and slime, but four is up, correct? Four is down. No. Number one is up. The purple one is up. The red ones are down. Well, here's my dilemma. The only thing I can think of doing is throwing them in a cage, and the only cage near one is the one you're in, so I don't want to throw her in that cage, and I don't want to grapple the other two where there are near cages because they're slimy and it might not work. So shoot them. Only one there's only one other one that's standing. It's Golem 2. Hey, Golem 2 is standing in the cage. Like the only the, threat like is Golem 1. Suggested. I'm going to try to shoot Golem number 3 with a proton pack. Maybe now it will have some effect. <laughs> okay. Golem 3 is down. And I will use my fire weapon to blast. Number 3 is down already. The threat is number 1. Okay, then I'll shoot number 1. Okay, I was all ready for you to, to zap a slimed dead golem, but all right. Uh, go for roll it your, instead. Roll it. And he starts with the six he wanted him to have. Maybe he'll be able to knock it over. Well, look at that. I don't know what that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you one, do that too? Two, three. Up oh, one more. Four. So forty-six. But did it switch? No, I can't tell. Did my so first one now a two? Your first, first one now is a two. So oh, forty-six. And but I also rolled a six. So you did shoot 
with the proton pack at golem number one, but what you hit was the arm and knocked it out of her grasp and sent it smoking and spinning to the floor. I'll take that. And yeah, golem good, one man. now just has to go at Larry barehanded. Bump him. Well, I would appreciate if the golem didn't go at Larry at all. So There's what's that. your defense posture? Yeah, what Ooh. have I ever done to go to one? Larry. Yeah, you uh, tried to do it with the arm. So are you trying to hit me now? I are, Yes, I've rolled a 14 in an effort to hit you. What is your defensive posture? Uh, jump out of the way with a 16, okay. no sixes. You did great. You jumped out of the way, and she swung at nothing. Uh, Dr. Trapper, it's your turn. I will shoot. Mm, Golem 1's the only one that's up? Yes. I will shoot Golem 1, then. With what? Um, my mace on pistol. Okay, roll. What the Isn't fuck? No. no! No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry. Elevated digit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Why is it my tag, man? Yes! <laughs> no, 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 please tag. Get me. Ross no one point. of importance is tagged. 29. <laughs> you, he's 29. just that cool guy in the kitchen. We don't how care. Many, how many dies? How many, how many dice did you roll? Uh. Eleven. Got two sixes. Oh my god. Shit. Eleven. But the mace on pistol, once someone's been tagged, isn't it a fixed amount? Yeah, it's one. Um, it's uh um the uh the, the subsequent Mason hit to the human causes a brownie point loss determined by moves or fire weapon. He has fire weapon. What's your fire weapon? It's eleven, he said. Nine, well, but that's rolled. I'm not going to count the exploding sixes. Okay. Yeah, it's nine. Okay, so nine brownie points fall. Fuck it, man. Sorry. That's what I get for making you a little brownie. Oh, that hurts. Next time, <laughs> onion oh. soup. <laughs> so, okay. Um, after, after Dr. Trapper's move... What's everyone else going to do? Christ. <laughs> so, uh, with Dr. Troit, do I have him, like, pinned down on the ground? Well, he's he is not conscious. His really? testicles have been ruptured. I thought he was, uh... <laughs> you, you've, you've kicked him repeatedly in the testicles. He's He is... Can he I is, slap him awake? Uh, you can try. Isn't he related to Iron Balls McGinty? <laughs> Clearly not. Yeah, can I slap him awake? You can, you, you're welcome to try. What, what is, is that you're a move? Slap his balls away? I don't know. It's like a bitch slap him across the face to try to wake him I, up. I guess that'd be more muscles. You should French kiss him away. That totally works in the fairy tales. It's a, it's a nine. A nine. You, you you can see he's conscious and mumbling. He's he's very disoriented. I say call off the Wait. golem or I'm gonna right fuck now. you over. And what does he say? He's he's not even a, he doesn't even know how to respond. He's just I take the and... put it on his palm and fire. Jesus. Okay, so in his palm, I point my poor proton pistol into his palm and fire the weapon. The palm of of his artificial hand. Oh, he has an artificial hand. How about the, the other hand? The the other one's fine. Well, it I was. It's good hand. Wow. All right. Roll. Roll your 
I mean, uh, well, it's point blank, so roll a six sided die. I rolled a fucking six. Yeah, you did. How did you get <laughs> off being so abusive? <laughs> Wait, I get another one. Oh, fuck. I get a lot of sixes. Uh oh, is this a headshot? No, no, it's into his palm. Well, no, no but, but I'm talking about you. You get six sixes, and it'll be. No, it's only three sixes. Okay, so the the uh, fucking a. Yeah. So, so, when you when you plug the proton pistol into his palm to shoot it, it uh, um, gave him a hit, but also gave you a hit. So take off two brownie points. It was a blat from the concussive. I mean, it just it was that's dangerous what you did. Well, that was stupid. Um, Luthien, there's yeah. one golem up. Um, uh, I'll shoot it. Well, nobody with, shoot it. I'm the only one. With the slime blower again? Yeah, that's the only thing that kind of worked. No, it mm. does nothing. It does nothing. You have to use combat. Use like physical use combat. Use grapple to take it or out. brawl. Or just your muscles. Them down. No, it doesn't do anything. You either punch it out or kick it or something or hit it. Okay, how about the one in front of me? Is it dead? It's dead, yes. yes. The only if one it is has red, one. it's dead. Mm. Okay. Uh, number two. Is in a cage. In a cage. Number and... one is the only threat. But uh, can I get to it? Sure. Yes, you can get to it. Yeah, you can get to all it. room. Okay, but my bra is really low. Hmm. Then, I have um, nothing. Oh. Um, bra better than no bra. Then just pass your turn. Okay. You don't want it. You don't want to try. Right, it? You can just use your muscles to punch. Okay, I'm gonna punch. How about I pull his leg, and so it fell. There. Good. What do I use? Uh, muscle? Yes. Yes. Okay, I use muscle. My muscle is not bad. Uh, okay, let's see. Two, seven, 18. I rolled a 20. Ah, really? Plus a ghost six. Of course you so, do. Your punch missed, and you slipped in the slime that uh, you shot at her and fell on the ground. And uh, take a brownie point off. Yeah. Um, Tori. So Golem 3 and Golem 4 are, as far as we can tell, yeah. they're completely out. out of picture. Yes. And the only one doing anything well, I guess I'll just run over and pummel on uh, Golem number one. Okay. Would this be one of my Blitzkrieg attacks with Intimidate? And, sure. Or I love it. it. And they're just like, ah, 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 pound, pound, pound. No six on the first one so far. Next time we'll bring paper back. Definitely. Yeah. 25. Wow, to my 12. That is the first physical damage that that golem has taken. Um, you uh, uh, were able to uh, uh, get the golem to to back away from you as you screamed and twist an ankle and the foot fell off. <laughs> so so it's, it is uh, on the ground, unable to stand with one foot off. Um, so that golem is unable to attack, but golem number two, since no one locked the cage 
is out and can get to Larry. So roll your defense of choice. Man. Kind of idiot left that thing. Uh, on. I thought I, you said I locked it. No, you, you pinched, pinched your, you rolled a six, so you pinched your hand. Lock, you never went back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just trying to backtrack. I believe I'm awesome. 31. Yeah. That is awesome. Um, so in your attempt to uh, dodge the golem, you tripped over the loose foot on the floor and fell down. My left foot. My <laughs> left foot. Um, and uh, it is Trapper's turn. Hmm. I guess I won't shoot my Mason pistol this time. <laughs> you can't. Is anybody still tagged? Yes. Oh, okay. Then I won't. Uh, One more turn. Who's Golem 2? Golem, Golem 2 is, two is up. Golem 1 is up. Okay. I guess I will... What have I got here? Golem 1 is on the floor. Ball? I will... Oh, yeah, Golem, yeah, Golem 1 is, is alive and prone. I will punch... <laughs> Golem one, I guess. Oof. Okay. 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 And I need to. I got an eight. Well, I got a two. So cool. you punched the golem in the face and caved the golem's face in. But she's still swinging her arms blindly out. Okay. Um, Larry. I believe that from my prone position, I will use my awesome brawling to do a kick move on the golem. And it'll be awesome. Which one? Uh, I believe number two is the you're one who just uh, fucked me over, right? Oh, leg sweep? No, your yeah. six fucked you over. Um, so you're trying to leg sweep on the golem. Yes, uh, which will be done in a way that cracks the leg off the golem. Okay. I have no sixes. 20. I have a six. Lorraine, clear your tray. Well, why don't you just keep that six to yourself? No, I'd like to share it. No, your you can legs, use it later. Your leg sweep was successful. Yeah. You brought the golem right down on top of you. Okay. Take off a brownie point. I'm uncomfortable touching her boobies, which I do. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> Um, Smooter, <laughs> you see a golem without a foot on the floor. You see a golem on top of your friend Larry on the floor. I taser golem one. Yes. Let's hope for a six. Oof. Six. Snappy crackle pop. The taser against the slimy golem ah. creates a lovely aroma. And uh, that golem is incapacitated and otherwise out of luck. Uh, Darius? 
I'm gonna come out of the cage and kick Gollum, Gollum two. Kick Gollum two off of Brian. Yeah. Or off of Larry. All right. Please don't. Oh kick my me. God. How many sixes do you have? I got three sixes there. I got 38 on the kick. Ugh. Well, you kicked the golem hard enough that its head is lulled to the side and immobilized, and the stitches are out. But she's flailing now against Larry, who uh, takes another brownie point. Of course. I didn't I didn't kick him kick the golem clear off of him. Like punting it no. like across the room. Um the the well the so you were attempting to kick the golem across the room? I just tried to kick it as hard as I could. Yeah, and you and you knocked its head nearly okay. off. But it's sure. still, it's still okay. slapping Larry. Okay. Well, uh, Lucian, give it a shot. Give no, it's a good shot. Uh, um, uh, Luthien. Yeah. So, oh. anything else to do? Well, Kid there's, the there's same rescue me. There's a golem on top of Larry, who's almost without a head. But still slapping him. Okay, the golem is almost without a head. Larry still yes. has a head. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm going to pull the golem away from Larry. Where are you going to grab? Grab his leg. Okay. It's just muscle, right? Yeah. I roll one. Not too bad. The golem cannot struggle. It's lying on the floor. That's correct. So it's 19. So I pull it away? Yes. You pull it clean off of Larry. And it's on the floor. And it's Tori's turn. Mm-hmm. Holy mother of pearl. So the only one still... No, wait, wait. Golem... Uh, uh, the Golem 2 is the only one that's alive. Golem 2. Off. Yes. Yeah. Well, we'll Blitzkrieg on that one. Oof. Go for it. I did not roll a 6 the first time. I don't remember what that was. Six. Three, four, five, and six. Only 24 this time. Oh, well, I had a one. So, so that you means I really so went to town. As at, you have torn the head completely off the golem, who has yeah. stopped flailing and is lying on the ground motionless with the three other golems and um, for that matter poor Dr. Troy or well yeah he's been repeatedly kicked in the nards well yeah, I'm not he's feeling sorry. Uh, like the wolf man he's got nards so yeah. he paid the price <laughs> clap for the wolf man yeah <laughs> You've got the curves, he's got the angles. Mm hmm Um so here so what next? Search Dr. Troit. Well, you've stripped him, so there's not I just really... Oh, uh, he's there. got places to search. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So the doctor Doctor Troy has nothing of uh, value on his person. What about in his person? Well, are are you choosing to examine? Oh, I'm not doing that. Why don't we we take Troy down to where we have the tied up henchmen and we still have a basement to search. Okay. So you have Troy do the tied up henchmen and then bring them all down to the first floor and then see if we can find the basement. Okay, so you're taking the two tied up henchmen and uh, Dr. Troy down to the first floor. Yeah, we want to get down to where the basement is. Unless you guys want to search this place first. Let's search this place first and see if there's anything. Yeah, then... give, the, give the room a quick once over, see if there's anything, then check the next one. We've never checked any of the rooms. We've been too busy. Yeah. The uh, um, the 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 room for the the top room that you were just in has nothing but the the cages for the. Uh, Experimental golems. Level two. So with the, we just like search each floor board. on the way down as we're going down. Okay. Um. So as you as you're going down. Um. Level three. Has some equipment in it. You know that uh, you know it looks like. You know what? There's notes, and uh, uh, you know, in fact, like a like a journal that is on the work table. That uh, do you want to examine it? Yes. Definitely. Or can we take it with us and turn it into GBI? You tell me. Let's yes, so we'll take, it with, take it with us, examine it, and then turn it in later. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Okay, so you've got the journal. Do a cursory examination. <laughs> It, it appears to be notes uh, regarding his experiments with uh, energizing the undead golems and, and the building of the equipment that he has used in his experiments, including the machine in the back. Yeah. And that's about all of interest in that room? Yes. And the next one with the rug? The the. There's the bathroom. The tick. There's the bathroom and the bedroom. Um, and if you want to give a cursory search, do you find nothing of interest in either of those rooms? Okay. And we're down to the first. That brings floor you down to the first floor. Can you guys? Do you, do you need me to move your characters, or can you move them? We can move them. them. So are you telling me uh, to move them? No, no, we can just move ourselves. Or yeah, I thought you like could. Each. I'm down. Where do we need to go? First floor. First floor. Let's meet in the living room. So you've got you've placed Doctor Troy in the chair, and the henchmen are tied up in the corner. Dr. Troy is barely conscious. Well, I would hope. And he, could, even if he could speak, it probably in a squeaky voice. Oh, you can't make me talk. I don't care what you do, you can't make me talk. So is everyone on the first floor? Mooder's yeah. not. He's not moving anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you throw him in the trash? No, no, no. I just can't grab a hold of him. There he is. There I am. Thank you. You're welcome. Someone else, too. There comes Trapper. Yeah, I moved Trapper down. Scott seems to have yeah, gone to place. Okay. Um, okay, so you've got the ghost traps in, you've got 
Dr. Troy on the um, on the stool there. I want to go over to the mirror and take a quick look. Does it still look like we're all old and decrepit? It does. We need to go to the basement, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to get down there. You? From outside? I think. Yeah, maybe the. From that cabinet with the all the canned food. I'm gonna try the outside door. version. <laughs> hey, did anybody find a key to a padlock? Yeah, does Troy have any keys on him? Um, he does not have any keys on him. Okay. We took oh, that well, uh, that, that funky electric suit too. Kind of wanna. Okay. Turn that into Ghostbusters International and see sure. what the deal is with that. I think okay. everyone needs to search here in the kitchen, see if there's a secret passageway. I think he's, not. he's going to go outside and take a guess at the lock on the, the outside door. Be looking earlier. You're going to take a guess at the lock? Okay, roll your guess. Okay, so is somebody searching the kitchen then? I'll research the kitchen. I'm just going to stay in the living room. We got three prisoners here. I'm not going to leave them alone. Okay. I will search the kitchen Sorry, again. Did you roll, so you rolled the 27? Yep. You guessed you're going to need a key to open that lock. <laughs> what about I is a way to break it? What about what? Maybe it's a padlock. Can I break it? You guess you could probably break it if you had the right thing to do. Just shoot it. Yeah. Does it look like it's shootable? Sure. Everything yeah. looks like it's shootable. Everything looks like it's shootable. Well, yes. It's a proton pack, so I don't know what would necessarily bust the door or the lock. That'd be another whole guess in its own, wouldn't it? It could, it could be. Are you going to make it guess? another guess? I'm going to try to determine using my smarts and whether it would be worthwhile to point blank shoot that lock. In this case, I came up with 25 worth of guesses. Okay. You guess that a proton pack could destroy the lock. It could just as easily fuse the metal doors. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. I could shoot it with a boson dart, but he says that's energy, so it might fuck things up. You can grab the crowbar from the car that you use for changing the tires and just yes, like, do break that. the lock. Okay. So you're going to grab a crowbar and try to pop the lock or break the chain? Uh, I'll think about that. I'll let them all try inside. They'll let me know if they have success. Okay. So what are people doing inside? Darius is staying with the prisoners. Luthien is in the kitchen. I am also staying with the prisoners. Okay. Nobody wants to search the basement. Luthien, what do you want to do you in can't the kitchen? Find the basement. Can they find the basement entrance yet? No. Can well, no you one engineer your way into figuring out where the entrance might be? Okay, I'm going to check the, the thing in front of me. Is it like a pantry or something? It is, yeah. It's like a, it's like a spice cabinet rack, and or like it. I mean, it can hold canned goods and things. Okay, I mean, I suspect this must be some secret compartment. So I'm going to search and okay. investigate a bit with my skill. That sounds good. So I'm gonna roll what brain or science or something. I I use your brains. Not engineering. No. I don't. I don't know if engineering would help. 
Okay. Oh, I wrote good, the first one. Oh, on top of the other one, that is weird. Yeah, okay, that eight, me. 18, did I find anything? You find that the, the pantry shelves are actually on a pivot that allows you to spin the shelves like a lazy Susan. Oh. Are you going to push on them? Of course. So I find a secret entrance. You do. Good. Because your brains were higher than Smooters, who was dazzled by the canned goods. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at the food. <laughs> so, so you can, so that see how there's kind of a round spot. Think of that as the as you know the the axle that that wall spins around. Yeah. Okay. And so is there a shut get, door or staircase? You can get in that room. Mm-hmm. And um, open those doors if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Let's open the door. You want to open them? Yeah. Definitely. Do what I need you see or... is it opens up. It opens up to a ladder that goes down into a dark place. Okay, somebody go first. <laughs> <laughs> Larry. <laughs> we all have a headlight or something. Well, you've got your lights on your phones. No, we have hat like we wear on our helmet. Um, yeah, yeah it's in your pillowcase. <laughs> I'll put my goggles on and look down. Oh, what do I oh, see? Oh, your icon. Oh, hey. You see a green glow of psychokinetic energy from the basement. You can. It looks like it's kind of a tile floor down there, but there is definitely a at least a small amount of psychokinetic energy. There are stairs or a ladder or something like that. Yes, it is a ladder that you can go down one at a time. I let everyone know what's going on, and then suggest that Larry go for. <laughs> That's what I was waiting to hear. I'll go down. What? Okay. <laughs> Are you taking any kind of uh, I have my proton pack boson thing on. But yes, but I meant illumination. When you get uh, to the basement. Oh, uh, or the uh, basement. The glow oh. from my gun doesn't do it. Well, I mean, then I will turn little. on the headlamp on my cool hat. I, I Where will move. Everyone instantly getting headlamps. I, will I took it from Luthien's paper bag. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> I will you move. You have, have a flashlight on your phone. Okay, but all right, but my phone is set up, so I've got a a cord I can wear around my neck. So the light's going out. I can still hold my weapon. Okay. You can do that. Okay, I'm going down. Anyone going okay. with me? I think yep. all. I am... Are you just going to wait for the screams? I am oh, moving the truck oh, back into the room. Good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Luthien, can you take a look at my weapons tripods. and stuff and oh, just make sure okay, they sure. all work? Okay. Was it broken? I don't know. I just, like, jammed it into this, like, electric thing, and so I'm not sure everything is, like, up to par, so. What's broken? I, I just want her to look over my weapons, my neutrino blade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure yeah. everything is up to snuff. 
That's good. Do I need to roll? Yes, roll one six sided die. Three. <laughs> Everything looks good to you. Okay. Okay. Cool. It's good. Okay, so so who else is going downstairs? I think we all are. Everyone is? Yeah. yeah. I will be the prisoners here. So nobody's staying with the prisoners? I'm still with the prisoners. Okay. I'm so moving going down. Side. So I'm moving last. So you're going to go in yes, last. Yes, Darius is in that room. Okay, so... Uh, Trapper, you want to go third? Yeah, sure. And um, why is, who's moving the henchmen? I am. I'm just moving them into this room. Oh, okay. So it's like easier to watch be nearby sure. in case I want to go down the trap door. When you hear the screaming. Oh, all right. Yeah, and. Okay, so they all are downstairs. The basement is a cold, dark room with large paving stones covering the floor. Two large cupboards containing a variety of tools and fabrics stand against the west wall. Barrels and crates are at the north and northeast wall. A large cracked slab stained with blood and marked by various tools is in the center of the room. A pile of wrapped and tied bundles lay in the southwest corner leading up to a metal chute which slides down from Please. the ceiling. Please. Does that make sense? Yeah. Please. What's the beat meter say? I got my exo goggles on. I got my machine kicked on. You got your exo goggles on? And then yeah, you're, the first, goggles. you're the first person to see rising from the bodies is a glowing skull. Hey, everybody. This is not Hasserak, is it? It says, it speaks to you and says, you got my body, but you didn't get me. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to shoot it. I'm not going to pay attention to yeah. anything else. I'm shooting. With what? With a proton pack. Okay. Proton. Yep. Too. Roll. Jesus. Okay, that was a three, and it got knocked over into a six. Ah. That's a shame. I feel ripped off by the die table. Okay, um, so what'd you roll? 31? Yeah. And I rolled, st okay, so Larry fires. And what happens is that Larry yeah. didn't realize that his pack was set to a boson dart instead of a proton stream. And the boson dart strikes the uh, cabinet well, there. It. You did. You hit it really well. You 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 hit it so well that it's now on fire. Oh, that's cabinet. nice. I've done that before. Cabinet. <laughs> the cab. Cab. Fire. The cabinet of fire. It's like a chariot, but a cabinet. Quick, Larry, go pee on it. Um. Uh, Trapper. 
Yep, I will shoot. What time, okay. Max? Okay. Um. I'm what? No, I just was. I'm just rolling. Thirty-five. I got thirty. Cool. So you hit. Um. Luthien, what would you like to do? Um. Wait, I'm sorry. No, I'm going. But I'm. I skipped. Smooter. I forgot Smooter's down there. He's after. I since Larry acted first, I gave Trapper the next go. So now, the first and second people have gone. So it's Smooter's turn. Ah. Uh, I fire. My Mason pistol. I'm in. <laughs> On the skull. I like it. Oh. Oh, I ain't done yet. Hold on. No, you're. Uh, yeah, you're fine. That was the noise of the salmon moose. There we are, twenty-six. <laughs> Ouch! I got a nine. The Mason pistol has tagged your friend, the Souphead Ghost. This head goes my favorite punk man. Um, Darius, what would you like to do as smoke starts to fill the room? Smoke start. Oh, smoke is coming up. Yes, you notice, um, Darius, that smoke is coming from the door, from the floor. Is there an exhaust fan above the stove in the other room? <laughs> uh, yes. I turn that on. So you're, so you're gonna leave the prisoners? I mean, the door, the school door is open, I guess, aren't they? Okay. Yeah, I'm just checking. It's just the second or so that I'm leaving the room. Okay. Troy's still unconscious, I guess, or Troy's still completely fucked up. Yes. So, um, uh, Luthien, what would you like to do? I guess I'll shoot it again. To, that's the last one, right? Okay. Are you are you shooting with your pistol? Uh, you're shooting with the proton pistol. Sure. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Kevin. Is there a fire extinguisher in the kitchen? Um, you know, like, the kitchens will have fire extinguishers. Are you gonna look for one? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You can leave to go to the kitchen and uh, roll. Yeah, so I'm turning on the exhaust fan. I'm looking to see if there's. You can a... do that. Yep. Well, roll roll your brains. So, Luthien, you're going to shoot the ghost. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I missed. I got sixteen. Uh, you find a small um, fire extinguisher, like a you know a kitchen size. Yeah. Yeah. You know, spray out okay. the oven kind of fire extinguisher. Nope. I did not lock it off. Mm. So, um, your uh, uh, proton pistol missed. It's functional. You just didn't get your didn't get your shot. Because the smoke from the fires is in the way. Right. That's right. <laughs> Only somebody was wearing something on their back to spray the fire. Uh, Tori, slime put out fire. <laughs> it has before. Yeah. Uh, Tori, it's your turn. Tori will shoot the skull with his proton pack. Yes. Roll. Not roll a two to a six the first time, but hopefully it will stay that way. He has a fire weapon of eight. 
So he is rolling extremely low so far. Did get one six. And he's got one more to go. And then his, oh, there's another six. So he's got two more rolls. Oh, there's another six. He's got two more rolls. There's a one. And yet another six. And another six. That's one, two, three, four, three. five. Okay, now how many more, one more. I think I've got five up there so far. You've got five sixes, but how many have you exploded? Oh, uh... Oh, and that went away. Damn. Uh, I have started with eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, uh, three, okay, I think you're four... Done. You're done. Uh, yeah, one of the 40. six just got knocked off. Right, right. Forty. Forty! To my massive three. <laughs> you have struck the skull and sent it kind of spinning around no i don't want to spin it i want it in a containment field i hit it so hard i should get it you 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 did you knocked it in fact you, you knocked it through the ceiling ah it's gonna fuck somebody up upstairs and it moves through the ceiling and into the form of Dr. Troit. Of course. Who yells. I'm just going to point out that doesn't match up uh, there. He just yeah, went he from should be himself. out in the living room is where he should yeah. hear. Not in the yeah. kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. How do you figure? He's he just in the went corner. from the He's lower the left corner. hand corner to the next level in the right hand corner. Okay, well, hang on here. Let's figure this out He's because if these, if these four squares represent the the hang on, if these four squares here mm -hmm. represent this door here, yeah. And the skull was over here over in the here. corner was here. Okay. He so you're go saying in, living in the living room. He should, the ceiling. he should be he's over here. It. He should be here when he appears. Okay, great. He appears there and then comes through these walls and possesses <laughs> Dr. Troy. Okay. Uh, Why should he in front of the house, though? <laughs> Instead I'm sorry. Of Troy's body. Why is he out in front of the house instead of in Troy's body? Oh, well, because yeah. because it we because know he's in Troy's body. That way. Oh, but as soon as he comes through the walls, he gets trapped by the the tripods, doesn't he? He oh. can't. He can't oh. leave the tripods. Oh, tripods. He can't leave the tripods. tripods. But he could Tri still possess Doctor Troy's body. Tripods. I have the here. best roll I have all night. It was a great roll. You <laughs> hit him really hard. So hard he just went through all kinds of matter and time warping and ended up inside the body, not anywhere. Ghosts, ghosts are amazing things. They are. Damn so, he is Mrs. So I, am I back here with them after getting the uh, yeah. fire extinguisher or am I still yeah. looking for the fire you extinguisher? You have the fire extinguisher in your hand. You see that Dr. Troy is animated. What would you like to do? Talk to him. Um, to He's still tied animated. up. To the animated. I mean, he, he, he was tied up, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's able to move, or what's what's the deal? He's just well, he's he's awake, and he yelled, "Nothing can destroy the doctor." So you know, you notice something's up. I just yelled down the hatch. The doctor is up, and he seems to be possessed. So I'm flipping down the ecto goggles, cud meter, shit like that. And what am I detecting? 
you can definitely detect psychokinetic energy around um, Dr. Troy. I mean, his face uh, I just almost kinda, appears like a skull. I just kind of yell. I just yell down. Looks like we need some slime up here. Maybe we could use the slime on the fire first. So it's Trapper's turn. Is Trapper before I don't know me? What we well, no, I, Tori took his turn, and then I took my turn, and then Trap. And now it's Trapper's turn. Um. I don't know what to do. What we're doing here. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the, okay. So, the basement's on fire. Okay. There's no more psychokinetic activity in the basement. Then I go upstairs. That sounds like a, a reasonable plan. Oh, you can move yourself the way wherever you like through the hatch. Okay. Or maybe you want to be outside the hatch. It's up to you. Want you, you can you can move wherever you would like on the first floor. Okay. Um, what's happening up here? Is Doctor Troy is what? He's he's tied up, but conscious now. And Darius has detected that there is psychokinetic energy active in him. And we need the slime blower. Yeah, and that's why he yelled downstairs. So, Larry, what would you like to do? I would like to ask uh, Luthien to please put the fire out with your slime, and I'm going okay. upstairs. Okay. Sure. Uh, I will let you move. You um, Smooter? Yes. Do you want to go upstairs? Yes, I'm getting out of the smoky area. Okay. Tori, do you want to go upstairs? Uh, is there anyone left with Luthien? Well, while Luthien's, Luthien. Gonna, Luthien's gonna spray the fire. Yeah. Yeah, I get you that. You really want to leave her alone, though? That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is everyone funny. else? Is everyone else left? If everyone else well, left, I no. I will yeah, wait until she's done and we're clear. Well, Smoot, Smooter's turn, and he's gonna go upstairs. Fine. And. Okay, so Luthien, you can roll now to shoot the fire. I did not know if you wanted to give Tori the chance to go upstairs first or not. All right, I walk out of the range first. Okay. So I find I'm near it. I'm near the layout. All out. So is it out? What you well, maybe probably not with a two. Are you gonna keep rolling? But I can take another turn, you know. Nobody's fighting me back. The fire's just Yeah, dead. you can roll you can roll more dice. Or and roll you... the rest of your shooting. There you go. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Sure. A twenty-seven will put the fire out. A two would not. So it's out. It's yeah. out. And I went back upstairs then. That sounds great. There's something to pick up? Any books do you want? <laughs> there's no, there's nothing of any interest in the in the basement. No it's just it's where the body parts come in. No trash there. So okay, so what next? We need to slime Hoyt and get this ghost out and kill the ghost, or else we can talk to Troit with the ghost Good. inside him and say, what do you, why do you think that no one can destroy the doctor? His balls are pretty destroyed mean? already. Jesus. Does he just regenerate? I, I, I cannot be destroyed. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred. I have mastered the ability of transferring energy to undead bodies. Nothing is bald. Well, what's happened to my testicles is the unfortunate result of the cruelty dealt to me by this questionable member of your crew. I shoot him. 
Yeah, just do that. Wow. Okay. With what? With my proton pack, he's 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 ghosted. He's got a ghost in him. I'm gonna yeah. get the ghost out of him. Okay. No six there. Let's hope it stays that way. We're going for a big eight rolls. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. It's only twenty-two, but nonetheless. Okay, you you have you have zapped Dr. Troit with your proton pack and energy is coursing through him and the hey. rising from his now motionless body the skull has returned has, has just floated up from his body and is just drifting in the air. Trap it. Trap it. Trap Shoot. It. Well, contain it. Well, yeah, but like. Okay, so it's, like it's, like uh, um, it's Trapper's turn. There you go. Okay. Have to contain it. Yep. Roll. Forty-five, what? Fifty. Clearly contained. Hey, my trap it. You have a trap on you. Who's got full traps? I Larry, do. my trap is full. Oh. Everyone I'm else is trap. empty. So who's oh. who's throwing who's throwing the empty trap? I'll throw a trap. Roll. How many? My full move? Uh, yeah. Because you know you might knock that into a six, which would mean it would fall through the open door into the basement. Moves are we're checking. There five. You got. You're plenty. You're fine. Twenty three. The soup head ghost has been eliminated. Let's get the magic mirror and do it. Is it soup yet? His, his, okay, is uh, so. Troit's body breathing? Are you detecting? Yeah, I'm going to check his idols. Okay. He, it seems uh, to be him. He, he is dead. Okay. Well, we didn't do that. Oh. Tori didn't, that's for sure. My prophecy came through. Came true. Jesus, you make me sad in so many levels, <laughs> and worried. Wow, murderers! Murderers. murderers! murderers! No, there are no murderers here. There was so one who bad. threatened murder, but with reason. Wow. Or Dr. Troy. Oh, but you have. What happens when you have a bad water system? <laughs> you okay. Have prisoners. Okay, so. Um, all right. Tally it up. Um, each of you gets 10 brownie points. And uh, Darius, add 
did you salvaged the suit? Mm -hmm. Who salvaged the journal? I think we all got the journal too. But I but mentioned picking it up. I don't know who said. You know, who, who, yeah, you said you wanted to salvage the suit for GBI. Yeah, I know you clearly said that. So add five brownie points to you. Somebody said let's get the journal. That was Tori. Okay, then you add five brownie points. Did Smooter say that about would Smooter, were you the first person who said we should take the mirror and put it in the in in the ecto? I was not the first to say that. Who was that the was first? I was me as well. Okay. That was, so that give was yourself really five brownie points. Give yourself five brownie points for that. Um Smooter, you get five brownie points for making soup and drawing out the ghost, which was great. And uh, um, I also, um, Tori, you're going to get five points for thinking to turn off the pack rather than kicking them, which would have resulted in you getting electrocuted. Those were the only notes I made. Turning off the pack was brilliant. It yeah. was brilliant. That was great. I'm just gonna reach over and turn off the pack. I'm like, fuck, ah, brilliant. Yep, that was that was great. So, but and then and and then coaxing a ghost up with with cooking food was great. I it wasn't my intention. I just thought I was possessed. Oh, <laughs> and you oh. Make money. no, you were just you you were just hungry. Or, or maybe the way you were describing the food just getting to my head and I knew how to delicious. do something. Yeah. It was. Wow. What? Who doesn't, who doesn't want Germany, who doesn't a long, multi um, progresso suit? So, oh, all oh. right. You have successfully cleared the tower of Dr. Detroit. Mm. Mm. Ooh, and you defeated guy. you defeated his golem prostitutes. <laughs> That's so disgusting. The prostitutes and their bodies like Dr. Detroit is the king. Oh yeah, he is. So alright. Fine work, friends. It took a little longer than I thought it would, but Yeah, you thought longer. we were gonna be done early. Yeah, it really did. I really did. But then I did load this up with more monsters, and uh, then I and it took you guys a lot longer to find the basement than I thought it would. I, I knew we were rolling down to find the basement. So okay, I am hitting stop recording now. There you have it. That was Ghostbusters Really Really International with your Ghostmaster, Kevin Dilmore. I'm Brian Dim Phillips. Hit the like, hit subscribe, share, comment, do all the good things. But mostly, have a wonderful life. Live trans and prosper.